On September 19th, the pregame podcast and the Side Hustle Economy are partnering up to give Indianapolis the first ever podcast seminar titled Bless the Hustle. If you're looking to grow as a podcast creator, if you're just trying to learn more information about podcasts, make sure that you check out Bless the Hustle, the Indianapolis podcast seminar on September 19th at 1 p.m. The event will be held downtown in Fountain Square at Pivot Marketing. Once again, man, please pull up, check out the first ever Indianapolis podcast seminar created by the pregame podcast and side hustle economy on September 19th at 1 p.m. downtown in Fountain Square at Pivot Marketing. Pull up and learn all about the ins and outs of podcasting. We can't wait to see you there. Pull up. It's going to be crazy. Next. This episode of the Pregame Podcast is sponsored by Cargo Streetwear Boutique, a cultural hub located in the Arts District of Fountain Square in Indianapolis, Indiana. Cargo specializes in curated garments, shoes, and accessories from Pierre Moss to Supreme. Shop and kick it with the team over at Cargo Streetwear Boutique today. Store hours are from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Thursdays, 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays, and 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. on Sundays. Or sign up for appointment only by visiting www.cargostreetwear.com. Visit Cargo Streetwear Boutique today and mention the pregame podcast to receive 10% off the following brands. Wishful Thinking, Kamafi, or any Cargo Streetwear Boutique merch. Next. What up? I've been working this grave shift. <laughs> we ain't made shit. We have not made morning. a dollar. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. We gonna grind for y'all on this pregame shit. I swear to God, we gonna do that. Hi, I'm Kylo Ria. I'm on Twitter. And I'm the boss. I'll check my request one day. I don't know. Uh, what's good? What's good? It's Dave Ruffin. You can find me everywhere at Dave Ruffin. The Twitter is still locked. Uh, for wow well, reasons. Wow, man, that's crazy. Uh, I'll give it a couple more weeks. We'll see. Uh, I should have cleaned out my trophy cup so I could drink out of it tonight. Uh, mm. Wow, look at you! But, uh, I'll put your lips on my cup. Still- <laughs> oh, it's your cup now. That's my point. Right there. My point. I'm gonna put it by me for good luck. Is that cool? <laughs> That's definitely a point. But... <laughs> no, niggas, stop! Don't touch it. You can't. It's in the winter circle right now. You have to earn that. Uh, but I like I said, follow me everywhere. I, I if I get a follow request on Twitter, I will see it. I'll check it. Uh, do Suche, nothing cool to say. Follow me on Twitter at Cool Times Calm. This is DJ Lo Wood, Dev Tall Doubters, man. Stop down. People's work. You throw it. Blah, 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 blah. Irrit, irrit. Kick this ass. is DJ Lo Wood, and Dev Tall Doubters, man. Stop down. People's worst you could possibly like ever do. Listen to the pregame podcast, season five, episode 45. We talk news, music, sports, entertainment every single week. We like to keep the content hilarious and informative for all listeners, man, especially day ones. Big shout out to you for listening. This is an extremely important Respected. episode. Extremely. No. Important episode. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. <clears throat> Top of the morning. For sure, man. You can follow me on Twitter at DJ Low Willing. Some of y'all keep using another account. Stop. You okay. Now I'm looking for it. Now I'm looking for it. Relax. All right. You got to be active on the DJ Low Willing. Well. Yeah, I why don't do. you try? Dunda, dunda. Top of the morning. Um, oh, yeah, we're breaking shit in here. With that being said, I don't know why he again, needs to touch that right now. I pay him. Uh, I wonder if he knows what that is. It's the table okay, thing. Okay, just me. He has no idea what that's from. me, man. Uh, it's the table thingy. Uh, on, on Jeopardy, they would have to ask the judges. Just, like, hey, for those, for those listening, every episode of Pregame Podcast what is, is Reese's first episode. Yeah, every. every <laughs> he gets reset as soon as he walks out. Yes. Get a little. Season bing. one, episode one. <laughs> I like season two. I love at least like to get season two. Crazy. We got three hundred episodes. Yeah. Come on, play on me. <laughs> yeah, you know that. You know how many episodes we have. Uh, what so episode I, number is this? Forty four. It's, nope. It's forty five. Forty five. What season are we in? Season five. All right. All right. Cool. <laughs> we coming up on six. I knew that. The other day. He had, about to, he had to think about it though, which is crazy. Coming up on six. But listen, nah, we appreciate you for tuning in. There are some things that we need from you, man. It keeps the pregame podcast in motion. If you can, please check us out on Twitter at underscore the pregame. Use the hashtag Bless the Ball. That's the best way to interact with the show. Top I challenge you to actually check out your Twitter app. Actually, go to the hashtag Bless the Bottle. See everybody talking about the show. We love to see those comments and those reactions to the content. Thank you so much. Keep that going. 
top. If you can, please check us out on Instagram with the pregame podcast. Instagram, Instagram got, got your bitch. bitch. Instagram, Instagram got, got your bitch. bitch. Another acapella episode, the pregame podcast for sure. So, you know, I bust out. bear with us. Top of the morning. And um, they man. So with that being said, make sure you check us out on Instagram. Mention us in your stories. The list goes on. We appreciate the love. We love seeing that. Make sure you check out our official website, live from the pregame.com. That's extremely important. The one thing we need you to do, the one thing we need you to need you to we do. Need your help. Please put somebody else on the pregame podcast. Send them a text. Tell tweet your about, about it. Us. Put them on. Tell your people about what we got going on. If you really do love the content of this show. That's important. Yeah. If you do like the content, you're rocking with already, like, I'm out, listen, I enjoy it. Please make sure that you rate us or write us a review on Get iTunes. Your mouth off of that, man. I'm timing. it. I mean, I'm just oh. it. Turn it into hey, a... Hey, he didn't take his medicine today. I can't talk about you. Me and, me and you are kindred spirits because I fuck with shit like that, too. He I does. Used to, I just have to put my hand in my pockets in the store. Y'all need some pictures. Don't you touch. Y'all need some pictures. you not supposed to touch. Yeah, fucking a boo. He's turning this... It, very this important wild, piece of equipment. What he's doing over here though, right He's now. turned into a fidget. Yes, fidget. For this sure. is ridiculous. A pop it. For sure. Take your meds. <laughs> Are you trying to break your wrist? <laughs> no, no, <I> what, <laughs> is, what is he doing? It's a bracelet. Listen, now, man. Like, if you're watching. <laughs> he got high before the show. <laughs> yeah. Turned the motherfucker to a watch. <laughs> he's turned some new equipment. We're trying to upgrade for y'all. He's put on his body. He's turned to a fucking watch. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Strap Mr. that bitch with a gator baby. <laughs> Reset. <laughs> um, Why you do J. Cole like that? For Y'all sure. niggas only have time. Hey. Y'all niggas like Not his baby. best moment. So what's crazy is you can see what Kylo Ree is doing on our YouTube. J. So J. Cole said, actually, thanks, bro. Right on, big bro. <laughs> should've, I should have took the dinner. That's the first. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Put my score. Put my score down. I'm running it back. Yeah, pass the baton. Start the baton. Bitch with the Gator Man. Um, <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's okay. It hurts now. Jay Reed. Um. So yes, man. If you actually watch the YouTube, you can actually see what Kylo Ree is doing. He's turning into piece of podcast equipment to a fidget. Crazy, you know. He does weird stuff like that. Um, but nah. So we are available on YouTube as well. If you want to watch the pregame podcast live, you can actually do that, which is really cool. The pregame podcast is available wherever you like to podcast. Wherever you like to podcast, no excuses. iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Heart Stitcher, Spreaker. The list goes on. We are available. Everywhere, no excuses. Make sure you check out the pregame podcast on Patreon. That's extremely important, man. For exclusive content experiences, check out the pregame podcast on Patreon. I always put the link into our notes. Tap into in the that episode, shit. man. Tap in. There's three tiers for the tap, five dollar level. Tap in. We've been recording at some weird times, but for the five dollar level, you get to actually come in and check out the pregame podcast live in yeah. the studio, private with us, which is crazy. For ten dollars a month, you get access to exclusive content. We call it Rough and Reeat the City. Man, a fire series with Rough and Ree. Um, Go to different places in the city, think, eat the best food that Nap has to offer. Show's fire. They're hilarious. Got a couple ideas. Snacks is going crazy yeah. with the video production. 4K snacks. You definitely yeah. want to make sure you check snacks, in 4K, and check something, out something like that. our Patreon account. The last tier, man, shout out to the chosen few. Shout out to the select few. Uh, for those that have the VIP access to the Patreon account. Listen, man, we got some things coming up. 25 to 4% off slave merchandise, VIP access to all our events, everything at the first tier and the second tier. Listen, for exclusive content experiences, make sure you check out the pregame podcast on Patreon. It keeps us afloat, keeps us in motion, keeps us grinding. So we definitely appreciate y'all's help with that, for sure. Y'all making this show continue to go. Y'all keeping the lights on, literally. So thank you. This is big lights, too. Indeed. Yeah. Up electricity. For sure, man. Uh, with that being said, man, let's get into the show. Oh, before we do that, I definitely got to talk about our content. We got a gang of topics as usual. For sure. Always. Indeed. Content is key for the pregame podcast. Top of the moment. Try to keep y'all engaged, <laughs> Top entertained. Of Top of the moment. Throughout Top each moment. episode. Shout out to Baby Keem and K-Dot. Baby Keem. Amazing, not, brother. Not little Stevie. Not Stevie, daddy. Who's Stevie? All right, man. So we're going to talk about the... Uh, Oh Abortion goodness. laws in Texas, the fact that they are super strict. Strict, indeed. Yeah, that's that, the that's word. That's what we call it. <laughs> if it ain't strict, it ain't lit. <laughs> For sure. Remember in nine eleven, it's the twenty year anniversary of nine eleven. Yeah, that's a point. Um, 
I don't know how to pronounce this, man, but I want to say it. Canon Fanatic. QAnon. QAnon Fanatic. What Thank you, Deuce Touche. Uh, it's a Some extreme right, like right, right, right wing shit. Extreme right wing conservative shit. Does it smell like uh, Gucci Man called it Kanoa. I called it Kanoa. Once everybody did too. His yeah. wife corrected me in front of a oh, lot people of people. Get, people get so upset when you call it Kanoa, but. Yeah, shit. she laughed in my face. It's <laughs> it Kane Wide, dumb my, nigga. <laughs> one of my few hey. experiences like that. It took me forever to learn how to say charcuterie. 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 I can't read that shit. No, I don't even worry about it. You can't. For sure. Nine out of ten. There's a ham on that. (laughs) Actually, people be making them now, which is fun shit. Yeah, nine. Little pickles. Huh? Salami? Salami is usually pork. Usually. Oh, damn. They do beef salami, but you yeah. never find that motherfucker. Yeah, you got yeah, to uh, go to the trenches for that. For sure. You got to go <laughs> to the Middle East to find that. The Jewish yeah. trenches. And then yes. And make halal. sure it's halal. Make sure it's halal. Face halal, 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 yeah, that's how it is. Them are the For Middle sure, Easterners. They, they take care of us, Indeed. too. Indeed. Make sure that meat facing east. Shout out to the Muslim. To Mecca. All right. For sure, man. Shout out to that community. Um, QAnon fanatic kills his kid. Oh, uh, yeah. From the indoctrination of this nation. Chris um, Benoit. Yeah, couldn't, couldn't be here any longer. <laughs> Crippled the cross face. Uh, <laughs> that was my favorite joke when he did that. He put his, <laughs> he put he put his kid in the cross face? <laughs> oh, Chris! <laughs> then my it was brother. like... Oh no, he did. <laughs> yeah, he always looked unhinged. Yeah, for sure. Turns out he really was. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah he was indeed. Yeah, he was too, you know he was in love was with girl, right? He had one of the few moves that was a, that, that shit hurt. That's why he was killing people because he was gay, like Aaron Hernandez. Eddie died and he couldn't take it. Eddie Guerrero. He was in love with Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie used to frog splash him. No, no. <laughs> I, I, I don't think. Uh, I don't know if Eddie was in love with him too. <laughs> he was in love with Eddie Guerrero. Like Eddie Guerrero died and just didn't cry for like two weeks. Oh, okay, he was, he was down bad. <laughs> he was so, he was no 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 because everybody was Eddie concerned. Was like I'm just trying to fuck once. I don't really love you, bro. Top of the moment. Like Eddie Guerrero. No, he here's a documentary. I send it to y'all. Eddie Guerrero died and his his, his love of his life died. He was over. He couldn't take it. <laughs> That's not it's not funny. It's not funny at all. He wouldn't kill everybody he knew because Eddie Guerrero died. It's really ridiculous. Eddie died of a heart attack. It wasn't yeah, even like, he didn't even die. It was one yeah. man shit. That's that's sudden. You don't see that coming. Want <laughs> Tasha the love of my life? <laughs> <Yeah. out. laughs> I know. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Have some. What do you say? Have some love. <laughs> have some compassion. Tasha, the love of my life just died. <laughs> just died. <laughs> um, <laughs> but nah, man. Uh, hey, what a show! Uh, awesome. When Tommy showered, he was so proud of himself. Oh, man. I was trying to kill ghosts, but that but works cool. too. Cool, yeah. Put your body. He walked away like. God damn, bitch! Now we free. <laughs> we free, nigga. <laughs> This bitch can't get us no more. Tommy said, yeah, nigga. We can finally go back to selling drugs. <laughs> We're selling drugs again. Selling drugs and shaking up. <laughs> um, Sorry about that. that nah, was, I saw that good, was man. five minutes. Great content. Uh, so shout out to Baby Keem. New project, man. Eric Bellinger, new project. Yeba, uh, Common, drops new music as well. Um, we're going to talk about the activist reality show on CBS. Michael K. Williams, R.I.P., the new Chloe Bailey video. Crazy. I'm just going to say it. Because she wants me to. That girl got ass. Okay. She, <laughs> I seen the clip. No, she want to talk about it. I'm talking about it with her. For sure. Lots of. I don't feel uncomfortable of, saying it. I Lots see that. of cake. Because she made. For sure, she, man. You see what she said? Nope. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Bro, she, I've, I've, actually, I've grown to ignore Chloe cakes. at this point. I've seen it on somebody. Somebody what? put on their story. I clicked on it. What's she talking about? That's her my body. little sis, bro. That's my her little body. sis. She wants you to see it. Is that she your niece? It out there That's not my you. niece. So let that shit go. I ain't got nothing to hold on to. It's just, I don't, you know. You know, that's my little sis. Not my cup of tea. Uh, I my guess, little sis, man. Diane. She needs to stay out in the child's place. Diane gonna be doing this shit soon, too. Nah, <laughs> I don't want that place. from Diane. No. Why not? I what you mean, that? What is that? I don't want that. I don't want to see her, you know, doing that. Why not? Doing things like, because I don't want it. She'll be uh-huh. grown. So here's the thing. I don't know. I respect that she has the ability to what do that. and grows an ass I tomorrow. don't want her to. Yeah. Why? Because I don't want that. You know, you know who sister. needs to do it? I grew up. Y'all, I watched Diane grow up. Y'all need to do something. I watched Diane grow up. Huh? I watched Diane grow up. You didn't watch Chloe grow up? No, nigga. She was in that Tyler Perry movie at <laughs> eight, yeah, and man. then she was singing with Beyonce at eight. Which Tyler Perry movie was she in? Uh, Meet the Browns. She was a little sister. I ate too much. Damn. I just couldn't stop eating. 
I was so hungry. No, they had eight weeks. She didn't pop back up at 18. She did, bro. No, she didn't. Where else was she? Man, I'm like watching that shit. I see that shit. Yeah, that's not. For <laughs> sure. But if you want to, you know I'm what I'm saying? I was going to ask for a fat check, but goddamn. Like, uh, and, and pop, she popped back up as a part of Beyonce's little sing group. How old is she right now? 22? 23? They've been around for at least. Fact check. Bro, I'm talking about. Man, man, I, might, I, might, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. It's in there. Yeah, but exactly. Again, she I didn't was... watch her. I watched Diana. Six, I'm sorry, I didn't... seven, we... eight, nine, ten, well, eleven, know twelve, scoping 12, 18 year olds 13, too. 14. I wasn't. Nah, we know. I you. wasn't. I wasn't scoping her until she was on live at 21. Yeah, my bad, Unk. Throwing her ass around. I'm like, no, wait a minute. Oh, wait, man. For it's sure. legal. Do what you want. My bad, Unk. I know. <laughs> <laughs> He's a mentor. I don't, know, I don't know what the issue is with him. He's a mentor. <laughs> yeah. Because honestly, even the first season of uh, of Grown Is, wasn't nobody looking at her. Yeah, it wasn't even on there. Why been, not? What, what, what is going on? What are you just asking questions. Yeah, he's asking the tough questions here. I, I don't mean, think it's a tough question. I think she decided I want to be sexy now. A lot like a lot of women have done listen, man. on their road to stardom. Aaliyah went from wearing baggy jeans and boxers to can I come over or rock the boat. Um, but not nah, man. She was 16 and nobody was looking. Well, them niggas wasn't. Well, nah, right. Exactly. Robert was, was on yeah, exactly. But, well, she was pregnant. But, he got her pregnant. At yeah. 22, she was uh, strange in position. We was like. Mm. Mm, position. Mm. We need a resolution. Yeah, yeah we do. Literally, we know she's been doing that position for seven yeah. years. Yeah, for sure. I'm just, I'm, which is terrible. I'm just, you know, it's y'all world, bro. I, don't, I know. I can't control what y'all look at. I can't control what you do with her body as a grown woman. I can't either. I would. I wouldn't want to. Right. Well, you going when you see, you're gonna be like, man, stop doing that. You so you don't. You, you, you didn't. You didn't watch the video. I saw it on. Uh, by the way, I, I didn't even see it out. That's hey, all on, on Instagram. I have not seen the stop video. Stop doing that. Well, I'm gonna tell you, hey. Her ass is fat. I believe it. <laughs> I'm telling you that. <laughs> Stupid, dumb, homegrown and cakes. We're in a world where fat ass is the thing. Stupid, dumb, homegrown yeah. cakes. It ain't, and it ain't no Magna Stallion fat. <laughs> but it's but smooth, it could man. be. Yeah, She's just young. Sure. How old is Meg? Mm. 26, 27. Hey, we got to talk about she how Meg, Meg the Stallion doesn't drop good music anymore. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's um, been a while. That's what's up, though, man. 26. 26. We got to move on, though. We that's do got to move on, man. Shout out to Chloe's manager, Deuce Touche. Can we get? I'm interviews? sorry, I made you uncomfortable, but I, I didn't mean. Nah, to. I, just, we get, I just want to interview. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to meet her. I'd actually like to meet uh, Hadley because she got the big movie coming out, and she's the yeah, one for sure. Yeah. She's Just the one that's really taking off. Line that up for us, please. <laughs> Niggas gonna see it and be like, "That movie sucked." I hope not. <laughs> they 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 don't have a good track record in the live action. Yeah, that's tough. The Jungle Book. They better use that and same. They better use an Aquaman shit, graphic. Lion King was fire. I don't give a fuck. I thought music. the Lion King was good. Like I, niggas don't like. I, said, I understand being not, prepared wasn't what I wanted to be, but it was that's one little gripe. Have y'all niggas, watched it since? I watched no. it three times. I haven't seen it since. It I've came. seen I it, it three times. Yeah. I haven't seen it out. Only either. thing that was bad was the person we knew was going to be bad. I'm not going to get into that. I haven't sought it out. I should say. Yeah. Everybody um, got to, you know, every movie got to be, you know, Godfather quality movie for niggas. I've actually never seen the Godfather. It's far. It's not been a good fellas. Good fellas, fellas fire. fire. All right. Let's go. Let's move on. We got more topics, man. We're still on uh, topics. Oh, okay. Tom Brady opening night and Cristiano Ronaldo returns to Manchester Cristiano United. Cristiano Ronaldo. It goes crazy. Man, stop Keep playing back. with the GOAT, man. 36 years old. Stop. This is this is crazy. We're watching here. Chevy Alonso. Let's move on. Next. <laughs> Next. Shout outs. Shout outs. Shout out. Shout out. I don't know if uh, I have any shout outs, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to my sister, man, and my brother in law. It's coming up, right? Yeah, a couple weeks away. Oh, they I can't they wait. down there, I'm continue totally to play for it. I've seen a couple of the venues. It's fire. Sunglasses just came in. Oh, nice. Um, ooh, okay. Nice. Yeah, it's going to be different down there. Yes, nice. yeah. Oh, my. Ooh. Ooh. Are they Is that David Ruffin? Yes. Okay. I'm out. Oh, yeah. I had to. You got transitions? Huh? <clears throat> no, I got real sunglasses, yeah, but they have a prescription now. You know okay. when you're young, transitions are not cool. I don't As want an you, adult, transitions are fucking awesome. I don't awesome. want you doing this behind your sunglasses. Hey. Transitions I wouldn't are... Do, that don't work no more. That used to work like <laughs> 10 years ago. It does not work no more. If, if you come to school at 12 years old, transitions, you're going to get laughed out the cafeteria. I bought transitions sure. in college. My nigga. As I an wore adult, them once. I believe they gunned me in chapter. As an adult, ah. the motherfuckers are Probably important. Yeah. Yeah, there, I, I thought about it, but it still carries that same thing for me. I didn't... I just got nah, nigga, you Shout out to Zenny. Zenny's getting boys right. Shout out to Zenny, man. Transitions are like belts. You know, when you was a kid, I wear no belt. I'm sagging, nigga. <laughs> Turn 19. Where's the fuck um, my belt? I can't even leave without my belt. We got a couple of events coming up, man. Shout out to Bless the Hustle. Shout out to the Side Hustle Economy with Murdoch. Big money Murdoch. For sure, man. The word is out. It's official. We are actually throwing the club cargo. Uh, 
party with Cargo Shrewer Boutique. Is the word out? That'll take place on, it's gotta be That's out now. That's the word. Okay. We, hopefully <laughs> this is the word, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you stay attached to our social medias for that and pull up on Sunday. Another Sunday fun day in Nap. <laughs> Sundays in Nap are going crazy. Please check us out with Club Cargo in Fountain Square for a great, great, great fire little day party. We got special stickers for y'all. It's going to be a lot of fun. Pull up on September 19th at 4 p.m. For sure. But also make sure y'all attend Bless the Hustle. If you are interested in podcasting, something you want to do, or you just want to, you know what I mean, chop it up and create some form of community for yourself to keep yourself motivated, keep yourself engaged in this podcast space, Check us out, Bless the Hustle, man. I got a lot to say. Uh, there's a lot that I want to to give and, and help people understand. Also, learn myself because I don't know half this shit. But we've been doing it for a minute, man. So I would love to continue to talk about other people that have been doing it or who want to do it. Uh, so check us out. September 19th at Pivot Market Group in Fountain Square alongside Anthony Murdoch. Living history. He's a legend right Bless there. the Hustle, Die. part one, for sure. I'm, glad. I'm blessed to have met Murdoch, man. For sure. For sure, for sure. He's going to be in some of my history book one day. Yep. Um, Good question, my brother. Indeed. Uh, any more shout outs? I'm light today. Uh, yeah. Hey. Trying to think of any birthdays. Damn. All right, nothing on the books, man. Uh, man, shout out Dr. Hill. Uh, shout out to, to Rose, Summer Hill. We love y'all. Yeah, y'all had the reveal this week. Had the, the reveal this week. Social Amazing. Back. Shout beautiful, out to, beautiful shout out to doing beautiful numbers program. for sure, numbers. man. Going crazy, going crazy. Uh, that's it, man. Shout out to the city. Shout out to y'all for tuning in. We appreciate y'all. Let's move on. Next, next, first things first. <laughs> uh, that was a transition first things first listen um, so this has been all over the news for the past couple weeks so shame on us for not talking about this sooner but shame on me because I didn't bring it to to the table man it's usually something I cover my own segment I mean, but abortion laws yeah, it's touchy man it is touchy up, um, and Texas has made it nearly impossible uh, to to legally have an abortion uh, the, the law that they're trying to mandate is going to practice is that if you do not get an abortion within six weeks, it is then deemed illegal to do so. I don't um, want to sound like a, a Instagram meme or anything, but it just for me as, I, as a man, it feels really weird that I have any say on what a woman does. It's it's weird. You better not get no abortion, girl. That's weird. Why do we have any say so in this? Yeah. It's, it's weird Why? that people do like control women's bodies. You know, it's also, crazy. The women have to have permission from their husband to get their tubes tied still, too. That's it's wild shit. Wild. Really? Yeah. Yes. Can't just go get your tubes tied. That's not true. I mean, that's, a, that's real life. Bro, it's like, I don't. But it's like, re- that's no way. Yes. That's Especially crazy. like them Catholic <clears throat> hospitals. Well, they so, wouldn't do it when I asked. Check this out. Check this out. I gave permission. They still check this out. <laughs> There's a Grand Anatomy episode <laughs> where this chick. As a doctor to please tie her tubes. Her husband didn't believe in birth control. She had like nine kids. This is television, right? Really? Yes, but this day based on everything off true story. Everything's based off a of real from case. the headlines. Mm, yeah. Um, but this is this is stuff that happens. Mm. She asked to have her tubes tied, please off the record. They got tied. Of course, the chart comes back. I was like, you got your tubes tied? The, the the doctor got in trouble. The, the, the wife was like, I don't yeah. <laughs> well, he sucks if he never allows his wife got her tubes tied. It was during the break. It was she had a baby and she was like, um, time off, like Tie a C section. Tie me off. Yeah. Tie me off. Fat. <laughs> yeah. While you're in there, please hook me up. That's what I tried. He said no. Yeah. She wasn't supposed to do it. Mm. She did it as a favor. Huh. But um, <clears throat> it's just it's strange, we don't have man. anything to do with this, and it's weird. And then the is the governor that said he's, he he don't worry, he's got the governor master plan. Adam. He's gonna stop rape. Yeah, man. It's so just, don't worry. Dun, 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 dun. Right. Sir. I think sure. it's how could you be more ignorant? So it's or could you be can more somebody ignorant? play devil's advocate? I, yeah, I'm about to say to, I caref- can't do it. to carefully speak to it. I don't you, think there's any devil's you advocate. Under, you understand the morality play, but it's really not the government spot to because it's supposed to be separation of church and state. The play is it's, it's religious, so you can't really vibe with yeah. it. Same time, it's not the government spot to do that. Secondly, well, they forget I, about it then. I think it's really naive to ima- or try to pretend as if a, a bulk of abortions are because of rape or incest. That's not what's it's going on. It's not the case. It's not yeah. the case at all. So, yeah. but and I um I but watched that's, the, that's the go. I watched the, I watched I the, think, I, oh, go ahead, bro. No, go ahead. And I watched an Instagram video. Um, this older lady who talks about this shit, basically, um, 
sixty uh, percent of abortions are white women, <laughs> and they want to stop it because they're taking the population down. The, yeah, the population but is dropping. The other side of that though is you always hear like the Umars of the world saying they put Planned Parenthoods in the hood on purpose to kill our population. So what's maybe, up? Which one is it? Is it Uchiwali or one? I don't know. Are they killing so, us for themselves? I feel like that's an interesting take because I think that's the white women are the gateway to white supremacy, which yeah. is crazy. I'm to a, think about hey, it. Well, they, I, bur- they burst. I'm pro abortion. Suck do. that little motherfucker out. That's for sure. I'm, I'm pro. I'm pro choice as well. Yeah, it's your choice. It's, and, it's a- and I'll say this: I feel like so many different bodies are different. You know what I mean? It's hard to figure out when someone is pregnant when they're not pregnant, things of that nature. And so it's, I I didn't know until week seven. If that you, happens to a lot of people because they ovulate at different times and the body's different. I, this is where I'm at yeah, with the man. They they have it at a time limit where some women don't even know. Oh, that's by that's by design. For sure. Women have to give up their bodies to house a, a child. House. And if a woman does, if a woman doesn't want to do that, that's that's fine. That is completely okay. Like there's there's no way we anybody can have in sex. Do shut up. That's crazy. I know you're not saying that. Yeah, people it people say that. Like it. it's like, bro. Like I, yeah, she, I, she doesn't want to do then, this, and then they don't want to, and. The, they're thinking is like because a lot of these women are poor people, and not necessarily, I don't, I don't, not necessarily, but the, like, but they don't want to take care of these. But like, you can't take care of a baby, have sex. That's stupid. Mm-hmm. What are you? I don't have shit else to do but fuck. I don't have shit else. That's what I do. But it's like if you if you want them to keep these babies, but then you don't want to take care of them. There's like because a lot of people are gonna need government assistance, but they hate government assistance too. So it's like there's a disconnect for me. Like you don't want to take care of these babies that people don't want. I, I just personally feel like at this point it's just it should be up to the woman whether she wants to carry 100%. that child or not. You know what I mean? And the fact that we still have and, know, and white we fact we still what have. What if you what if you devil's advocate that where it's a bunch of women getting talked into abortions that didn't necessarily want to do it and it protects them? I kind of feel like though, I think that's because we know niggas. I feel like that's opinion. You know what I mean? I, I, that's, seen, that's, that's, I got, that's a, mouth, I got a mouthpiece on. <laughs> Let me chill out. Let me, let me, let me play. We know niggas. Let me really flip it on this. And this is the sad part. If men had to have abortions, this rule would never exist. We would have every right to do what we want. I think there would still be morality play. No, no, I don't think so. The white lawmaker would. There would be, but we would never tell men you can't do that, bro. Yeah, I I just think that this is. We do it. a, A lot of people's argument was also that in one calendar year, a man could father. As many kids babies. as you want. A woman can only have one baby in one calendar yes. year. Yes. The, the, look here. If there was a male birth control, and it, maybe. There is. I think about it. What's it called? Uh, vasectomy. Oh. Uh, <laughs> That's true. That's <laughs> birth control. I like, is it, nah, everything okay with everything you? Everything is grand over here. Okay. You Again, mean. I just. Still I just, married, so it's got to be working. Carefree living. For sure, man. Do, hey, do your thing. <laughs> Right, you know what I'm saying? Shoot the club. Up. No, but I was, I, and that was that's complete devil's advocate. I just feel yeah. like there are, but there are definitely women that are but this coerced, is, talked and, into, and this is what and paid right. to get an abortion. This is what but, I wanna, but, but please don't yeah. do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what I want to say to that, and then we can move on and be done with that. It. May have necessarily wanted um, that kid for sure, but now I, they can't have it. I feel like there is always going to be people. But it's still, her choice to do it or not. Kind of, it's got to be. There's always going to be people in any simulation, any systemic play that cheat the system, you know what I'm saying? 100%. Figure out their way around it, but we cannot base the premise or the outcome uh, of that particular system or plan on those individuals that that cheat it. Because there are some people that actually need it, that plan in place to do what they need to do for their lives and whatever. So sometimes we hang our hat on the fact that, well, so-and-so going to do this and they not doing it. Yeah, but that's never everybody. You know what I mean? And that's it. That's definitely part of life. So yeah, you want to talk about the individuals that are saying blame it on the right. That's one part a part of it. The people that are, you know what I mean, knowingly just getting abortions because they can. I feel like that's a small percentage of the individuals who really just genuinely feel like I don't want to have this child. I'm not and ready to have this child. Think, I'm ready to take I, care. I would be interested in what if they did like a, a exit survey. Like, why'd you have this abortion? What those numbers would look like. But they, they would probably just I also lie. don't and I think that I also don't think that women are out here getting pregnant every two and a half months and going to get it. I would hope I not. That, that shit is not. I don't. I don't think. No, there's a lot of. Good the for thing you. is, it's not a. It's not a like. You know what an easy decision is? Do I want Burger King or McDonald's? Sometimes yeah, that's a, and that's, that's tough a very too. easy decision actually. But but it's like this not an easy decision they're making to have an abortion because there's a risk to their bodies. You might never be able to have a baby ever True. again. Like it's it's not something that they're. I don't think they're taking it. They're taking it lightly. That's a wild woman right there. The people. There's some. People that, there's some people that run up the skull. 
I, was, I got that. The yeah, whole hundred. Societally, man, yeah, we realize where we're at in society. We know what's up. Niggas, that's in the back pocket for a lot of people. And it I just, think it gets real when you go in there for sure. But it's choice, that, man. It's yeah. just their choice. We absolutely. It's just, it's just weird when men say you can't do that, woman. As I said, the government. It feels weird when the government decides to enforce something religious based because that's that's all it is. Yeah, yeah, but if niggas, but then they take the prayer, Bible Belt, they take, right? Texas Bible they take Texas, yeah. prayer out of schools, then separation of church and state, motherfucker. It's, it's supposed to be. That's what they, that's what they founded this shit on. Leo For sure. Yeah. They and also that, said all men. I behold yeah. these truths to be self evident. <laughs> all men are created equal. They it would. It would definitely mean be that Texas, shit either. For whatever reason, that Abbott nigga is on some bull. Is he man, on the way out? It's weird, man. Since last year, I don't know what's going on. It's a wild man. dude. No mask, no abortions, yeah. none of that. They shit. They use. They throw that. He they said, "Don't that. kill that baby. I'm gonna kill these babies instead." Yeah, they the babies that already alive. For sure, and they. And they used the good book for slavery too. So well, they didn't know what they was doing. They, they were lying. didn't, but they was using that shit to will that evil. So yeah, they were fibbing. Um, it's a part of it, man. Let's move on though. Next. Next. What else you got first things first? Uh remember 9-11, man. It's the 20-year anniversary. They got some some fire. Let me ooh, that, that might be the word to use. Verbage. Some really <laughs> good <laughs> documentaries. Don't do hey. that. Um, about 9-11. I'm in the solemn On Netflix place. and Hulu. Because I've been funny, watching like, documentaries and off the, the air. That shit is sad. Lloyd said to me. Y'all watch that documentary? And I, my exact response was, I remember it. I was live. I don't yeah. have to watch the documentary. So I was, you know why you need to watch a documentary? Because you've allowed uh, George Bush to become a figure of somebody you fuck with, and it shouldn't be that way. Who? You, Just because he likes niggas now. He like, because he likes candy. I know George Bush killed them people. Yeah, yeah but you be like, George Bush gonna get that candy. It's, it's sweet now. No, yeah. it's not. He's still, fucked up guy. He's is, still the is, nigga. It is him and his dead daddy. daddy. Listen, it is revisionist history. I'll never forget. Yeah. I, re- I remember it all. I was really, mm-hmm. I was at an age where he was watching the news trying to be involved that nigga when they told that nigga hey shit went good that nigga went good. he was already he, he like was this. already stumbling over that book hey, <laughs> he, <laughs> he, he was he, already fucking up he said in the camera like this they said uh sir he was like we're, I thought, we're I thought under they, attack I thought they wouldn't do it until next week like yeah. he was he fucked up there, about that shit and look there was no look of horror if you tell me right now he said hey Kylo Ree they just blew up the Salesforce Tower get the fuck out of here yeah. that nigga George said like this well, he the thing is, he already knew about the first tire before walking in, but he thought it was an accident. Yeah, he thought it was yeah. like. But thought- then they said, "Hey, it is not an accident." <laughs> hey, bro, <laughs> they are we flying are, these well, places. Well, to my point is, it's not just you in general. George Bush has been able to become this figure to where yeah. they're trying to act as if he did a good job or yeah. he. Because black people love Michelle Obama, and now he's two Michelle things. Obama. We're talking about when we talk about Michelle Obama, you say Jordan get that candy. You don't say fuck him. You yeah. say two Jordan things. get that candy. That's true that's because that is. <laughs> John Lennon was a long yeah. time ago, but two things I know about George Bush, two things I remember, the, the, the peak of his presidency, them he called black people refugees, yep. and he blew them towers up. He also stole an election. They, they got paid. Yes, they man. Stole yeah, when, they, when they talk about, Ow. When they Ow. Talk about Joe Biden still in an election, no. George Bush, they really, he had his brother that throwed the ballots lit. in the water. Yes. yes. Throw yes. Throw Let me tell you something else. Let me tell you something. Gators. Let me tell you something else. Gator bait. Another thing that helps George Bush is time. We, we thought he was bad. Mm-hmm. And he was. But a nigga came some years later he was that worse. was so bad. I would if, argue he's worse. And as a person, no. But George Bush didn't call me nigga to my face. No. As a person, no. As, <laughs> a, refugee. as an open racist, Trump if, was so bad. I, because my, my home in Katrina, what would I be? Homeless. This I think place, I said refugee, this yeah. during yeah. the election time. It was fucked up, though. At least George was an actual politician. He wasn't. And he was no. He he been through the steps. He was a governor. The governor. He was a, he's a prime. He was really in he George was, Bush was a fraud. He is, but at least he went through the steps. He come off TV and say, "That's true. I'm about to do this shit." That's true. It's crazy. But yeah, George um, blew those buildings up. They got a lot of money off that. Even if you don't believe he blew the buildings up, he still took advantage of the aftermath of the buildings blowing up, and he just didn't didn't fucking do anything. And we ain't yeah. found one WMB yet. There's not well they got them. <laughs> they just didn't find them. <laughs> they never got them over there. All right. If you, if you yeah. ever really sit down and watch some but of the docs about they were, some of that they shit. They were built by the US Department of <laughs> Defense. Yeah. Hey. Where they at though? But, <laughs> he's a wild nigga. Where they at? Yeah, there's not I mean What's up, Lloyd? Okay, go, go, go ahead, go ahead, Roy. I'm just saying there's a lot of there's a lot of pre- I mean, the all these white all the presidents. Sorry, Barack. Yeah. All the presidents, not the best individuals. Nah. George Bush. Is stands out like yeah, he's bottom tier. My After the slave owners, it's like, yeah. oh, you blew the towers up, my yeah. like, W. I w. was I was interested in learning more about Bin Laden. I didn't know his backstory, but watching documentary, yeah. he a lot of backstory on what he was Saudi. on and what he was a trying Saudi. to do. 
How old were um, you when, when the towers fell? Fifth grade. Fifth grade. Fifth grade. You I was in sixth. I was sixth grade. Came back. I was, I was coming back grade. in from safety patrol. Bro. Yeah. Gym class. My te- Mr. Hartman. I'll never forget. He works. Mrs. At, Mrs. Brown. I mean, he was works my at Ben teacher. Davis now. Guys, guys, guys. They're saying the twin towers are down. What are you talking about? I ain't know what the fuck a twin tower. I know how to stay in school. You know what I, you know what I said? Why are we talking about Tim Duncan and Dave Robinson? Because at that time, <laughs> at that time, I mean, he's always <laughs> just misses the whole story. whatever. Shit True about. story. And then I was like, "Yeah, them niggas get buckets." So, yeah, they so which one got hurt? The World Trade Centers. And I and, my, and then my other words were, "Jim Bill talking in Home Alone too." Oh shit! And he turned TV on. My, and one of them smoking. My experience with the World Trade Center was Biggie's Juicy Bar. That's it, bro. Blow up like the World Trade, and which is crazy. It. And that was in 1985 Bro, when yeah. they blew we turned it up the, the TV first on. Time. We turned TV on. The first one was smoking. Oh, it was like, bad. man, my what bad. the fuck is going on? They crashed the plane, and then you see, yeah. oh shit! Oh, so you saw um, the second one live? Yes, sir. Oh. It was nuts! It was nuts! I believe I might have saw the second one. Live. Crazy, yeah, for sure. It was all like <gasps> one of the crazy things about it though is that you know I'm mean, one from the heroes in in Pennsylvania. They were really trying to take. What oh, was they the wanted really, the Pentagon. They, what was the fourth target? Somewhere in Chicago, it was like the third target, I should say. So I think the White House, the Pentagon, and yeah, I want to say one of those Chicago didn't too. crash into what the one in Pennsylvania. The crash of Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. Like a plane in Pennsylvania. But apparently, that was headed to Chicago. Oh, and that was the part. Yes. It's always it's revisionist history. Now it's just. You, you you never know who's a hero and who's not, and it's it's hard in that situation. No, the you true, don't know what you're gonna the do. True heroes is them niggas that was on the ground that looked up, saw a fucking building on fire, and they're ran right. into that. Bitch. Yep, the, Crazy. yes, they're heroes. Those are the but only the, ones. And, no, 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 no. The other yeah. heroes, flight ninety three, flight ninety three. Got to respect. Oh, I'm sorry, them too. Yeah, yeah, like people that was like, y'all, we're not doing this. But there was yeah. one that was going to. If the we gonna die, house. y'all die. We're not it, playing these it games. It was so crazy. Yeah. Because on the plane, I could be like, nigga, I swear if a nigga get on the plane talk crazy, I'm a, I might do like this and be like, oh, shit. Then what you I might say, let's get I this nigga. I hope there's an air marshal in this flight. Hey. <laughs> That's all you can do. Then people on flight 93 literally made the phone call home and said, hey, man, this is going to be it, but we gonna, we not going to yeah, allow this. Yeah. This, this, nah. And but, um, that's crazy to me. What's, that's real That's um, real heroic shit to right take there. It, yes. To take, Hero. it, to take it deeper, um, I read an article the other day about how um, American air travel and completely the world the completely head. different. Yes, F- flights resumed uh, three days. I think after nine eleven, I remember like when my grandparents and my mother would go out of town. You could go to the gate, yeah. see them off. Yep. No, nah, used to be able to have a little small knives because uh, they a you lot of those terrorists on nine eleven. Well, that should have been. <laughs> that's wild. Had small pocket knives. You mm-hmm. can't take none of that shit. Um, the screening started being, and over the next ten years, the screening started getting stricter and stricter. You know, it just, all from result of that. I best believe the pre runs, the them them Saudis was like, oh, it's, it's sweet. sweet. It's sweet. We talk about this stuff all the time. Hey, hey, we be lying. It's a layup. Get these in their pocket. It's a Tell me where you want me, coach. It's Honestly, <laughs> only thing you couldn't bring on there was a bomb and a gun. Hey, yeah. We talk about these major events that shape our history going Change forward. Of course, history. Yeah. Uh, and and the pandemic's another one. Like people will wear masks forever. It'll never change, even if. Everything's gone. There's going people to say, eh, it's probably people in here. Yeah. I'm, you know what I mean? <clears throat> we were living so free yeah. before 9-11. Yeah. I mean, it moves all the time. You see people at the gate waving at the window. We'll miss you. Nah. Don't worry. That's a text I, I now. will say, as annoying as it is, that they kind of rub, not, not rubbing it, but they do a lot of shit for 9-11. Like, remember, never forget, it is one of the few American moments in which niggas were really on some heroic shit. <sighs> Yeah, man. Like those, hey, those, those, fire, yeah. those firefighters, them, them policemen, the niggas on that plane. And the police. That's, that's and, some hardcore American we're in this yeah. together. It's the time where yeah. everybody was and like, the, hey, and we got to be the Americans. Yeah. The policemen never we're get Americans. no shake on it, no love. The firefighters nah. get the most majority of the yeah. But, and honestly, the firefighters, them niggas, I'm, I'm, I'm not going in. Not breaking that building. No. Yeah, so I don't care. What's, what's already coming I don't down. care. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gone. I'm yeah. going home. My wife. I promised my wife I'd get home every night. My last day is my last day. Keep telling sure. me. Oh, you know, I'll, I'll say I'll go. I can go in. I can get the, the get the. You know what I'm saying? Get Lisa there. I can team. clear the lobby out for sure. I'm not After going to that. 17. I'm not yeah. going. Are you on, I'm not running the gotta, steps. You got to take the stairs. The I'm not the running stairs. the steps, bro. Oh. And to those men that did it, you guys. Or Heroes, a different time. You're Go an Avenger Goose. times yeah. ten. You're a hero. You're, you guys are awesome. And to, so it's two sides. Conspiracy wise, it is interesting the way in which the buildings fell because they kind of collapsed to themselves. Mm-hmm. As that, if they were imploded from inside. Exactly. But 
it's it's almost lucky it happened. If those buildings would have did one of these or yeah. one of these or one, yeah. Well, and the area is, of effect would have been greater. Yeah, the fatalities hey, would have been greater. This Way is why higher. I know Bush did it. Bush said, we can knock them down. We cannot have those buildings falling over. So the guys that fly in got no fuck Because we, doing. I mean, I, you know, if you think about <laughs> we it, can't the, have those buildings the force over. with which a plane comes into a building, you at least the top come. I, I don't know. It's incredible. They hit the, that middle of the building, the whole the right one, down on the itself. The first one didn't come out. No. It stayed in. I don't think neither it's, one of them came out. Well, one of them kind of. Blast the second one through goes through. It. The second yeah. one blasts through. Yeah. The second one blasts through. I think it implodes on impact. The first one went in and went. Yep. Crazy. Um, I'm not but, well versed. And they didn't. They didn't well. evacuate the second tower. You know what else happened that day? You don't never think two planes are gonna hit. You never. I don't give a fuck. I'm getting out. They yeah. Told, they told and, people to go back to yeah, their desk. There are people that were, but after one tower. Yeah. One it's tower a, is like it's an accident, guys. Go back to work. You're good. No. Yeah. See y'all. Uh, one other thing that happened that day. Uh, blueprint drop. <laughs> it dropped the nigga still winning cop test. What? Got to get it. Jay Z well, dropped the blueprint. And you know what happened night before that? What? Michael Jackson did one of the greatest performances ever off heroin. He was high as a kite September 10th <laughs> in New York City. <laughs> Seriously. I don't know what you're talking about. He was Michael off, Jackson he was he off did, that boy. Up there dancing with Chris Tucker. His, oh, that was September 10th. My world, you know that was heroin going yep, on yep. everything. Oh, he, was, he didn't want to go on. They mad that they said Michael, you showed it out. I don't care. Michael, if you watch those documentaries, he's sitting next to Elizabeth Taylor, his girlfriend, who was 70, like this. Where's the horn? <laughs> he ain't a fucking girlfriend. Who, Michael Jackson? Well, yeah. Elizabeth Fuck, Taylor. Was, I just fucked Diana Ross. Elizabeth Taylor was 97. He fucked right, hey, right, fuck Elizabeth. <laughs> no, he fucked uh, but yeah, this one, Elvis' daughter. Stop. I my girl who smiled on my mind. That's that tip of the down here. Fuck niggas in New York. That's tight. In New York. Reggie Miller was in that motherfucker with the backwards can't go on. Gross. Oh, that, was I the, that. that was the um the I remember victory, that. right? That was like 25th anniversary of thrill of something. Yeah, not it thriller. Was, That's where his brothers yeah, came yeah, out too. Yeah, every, every, that was was had on them white, it was crazy. Jermaine and the next day his hair was plastered to his head. The next yes. day, slick back. The towers came down. Crazy times. Um fuck George Bush. George nah, man. Definitely. Now, I'm not well versed. I'm not well versed. George Bush did do that. I wouldn't have did. Okay, even if I tore him down. I ain't walking out there and doing no baseball pitch for nobody. What you got? <laughs> it's an attack on this I world. I ain't well versed Put in conspiracy me in the shit. Mm -hmm. But, and I I don't want to sound like uh, rude or um, <clears throat> inconsiderate. Take a shot. Of but what? that, <laughs> watch your documentary, man. Going back to like events that changed the course of history in 79, the Soviet Union had came into Afghanistan. America, we, helped, we, we had an arms there. dealer yeah. help them get, get out of there. You and know, o Osama said, thank you. Shit. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Bin Laden was like, okay, cool. But then uh, Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait, and he saw all the Western powers come down there and try to stop Saddam. Bin Laden said, oh, wait a second. They try to come for our natural resources and what we got going on. Oh, like you sound like an advocate. No, no, I'm not trying to be an advocate. No, this is, this is just context. but his his okay. his logic and reasoning protect his not off base. Protecting his home, yeah, protecting his home. It's tough. It, protecting it, his home. It, I mean, like that's like that's yeah. this. this he, really he was a terrorist. He went about it. He, in he a was definitely way. terrorist. He was definitely oh, terrorist. Sure. So, but how do people? He's a terrorist. How do people get he's to that point? To us, his his version of protecting his home people probably his nigga. Hey, yeah, his his name tatted. He's bad. His birth of protection was cut the hey, tatted on. How did you run in that building? Blow it up, nigga. Like that's his protection was blow that yeah, building up. We're terrorists in Japan. How do I? How do I blow Out up the gate? They forgive Osama, us. Osama, you know what? what do I because do? they got paid. Strap this. Let's put Unlike this book back slaves. on. Put this book back on. We got C four in it. You got to walk in there, say for the love of Allah, and blow that motherfucker up. We turn people into shadows in Japan. Yes. Permanent. <laughs> Permanent oh, shadows, sure, this, this marks on the ground, and then long-lasting <laughs> radioactive effects. Listen, a bullet comes in, you turn into motherfucking um, uh, nightcrawler. Are, are actual, it's the nightcrawler smoke. There, there from, were actual shadows on the ground of people that were like permanent. You know how nightcrawler appeared, disappeared? But guess what? What? Niggas ain't flown. I mean, I guess they did on 9-11. They never did no Pearl Harbor shit ever I, again. I imagine planes, for, they fly around Hawaii now. They don't even go close to it. Bro. But yeah. <laughs> niggas don't want niggas think nothing. The hypocrisy is crazy. <laughs> I don't fuck extremist terrorist shit. But again, it brings back to my point a couple weeks ago. We yeah. have domestic terrorists and in this were, country. You know who trained Bin Laden and his niggas? Us. The United States government. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. We have domestic terrorism in this country. C4. And I feel Stop like it should grenades. be. <laughs> There's a little block. Yeah. You put a timer whenever, on whenever it? You, whenever, you see, um, whenever you see terrorists uh, hold their gun, they got their finger out, not on the trigger, 
America's made. That's our shit. <laughs> they put them for on sure. Get your they shit didn't out. know that. But nah, out we had we had, they, they naturally shoot AKs like this. They <laughs> learned how to. Oh, so put it on the it, yeah. shoulder blade. That's what you said. Uh, <laughs> I can don't, control don't it. Don't have like my this? finger on the trigger if I'm not uh, about to shoot it. Bet. But nah, domestic terrorism is real as well. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I feel yeah. like we don't we don't fight it with Who the same out energy. Who cares domestic terrorism? What's they? What they? What are they? White? White males? Yeah. Hey, you know it's, what my favorite part make is? Make it be known. Every rocket launcher that ever used in Saudi Arabia and Afghanistan got a USA flag on it. Stark industry. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Where you get this from? All them shit. Oh shit! Hey, what about you stop something? To me? This yeah. ain't the Pentagon. Where we got this from? Yeah. This where we got this from? So that's just interesting to me, man. Hypocrisy. You know what I'm saying? And, and I don't the 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 humanitarian shit. Watching Afghanistan, watching that extreme version of religion take over that country and those citizens in that community. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nothing to do with us. It, it ain't got nothing to do with us. Was it extreme? Was it not as <clears throat> I don't know democratic or free as we'd like? Hell yeah, that shit was wrong. How they did women, all the other Live shit. Live free, die young is their is their was their motto. There's a uh, however, there's a funny clip of a Taliban leader. He was over in America. He got asked a question by a woman, and she was like, "You guys are imprisoning your women." And dude was like, "I feel sorry for your husband. He must have a really hard time with you." Oh, God. that was his response. <laughs> That's the <what I> deal. <laughs> and if he was at home, she'd be fucking dead. Yeah. <laughs> cut, yeah. cut her shit right off. <laughs> they hey, said you talk too much. Cut your yeah. tongue. Hey, <laughs> they said in one of the documentaries, man, that they was throwing acid. On the faces of the women that didn't, that weren't uh, wearing the full hijab. That's wild. That's some wild. That's they wild on some shit. other shit. Hey, y'all don't like pretty bitches? Damn. They're probably fire over there too. Hey. Ooh, thick as a motherfucker. It's that two shit. types of women yeah. in every Afghanistan. The baddest ones you've ever seen, and people look like niggas, and they they, 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 they get off. You never know what you get. You never know what you get. It's like you. It's like Game of Thrones. Who am I get? It's one of uh, uh, Walter Frey's uh, daughters. <laughs> And what's crazy she can be is, cute. What's crazy like is, I don't if you're, know. If you're a Taliban nigga, it's like, you can't ask her to see that shit. She gotta, oh. Then you got to kill her. So you got to oh. just see what you get at the like end. Wow, like Wild Wild West when uh, Buddy had to face the, you know, Come on, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because they, they got some bad bitches over there. Yes, they do. And they oh, also facts, got facts, some, yes. they got some war wounds. Yeah. <laughs> the boss got her job. You have too, no though. idea. Got a natural her job on it. For sure. All the Frey's <laughs> daughters, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you, you gotta roll shift, them. You shift it. Oh, only in America. Shift it. I got to put your head off. Yeah, you gotta roll the, the curtain back. Yeah. I'm nothing. Roll the I know that's down. natural, but I'm nothing. Oh, it's bomb. All right, man. Let's move you on. The weed whacker in that motherfucker. Um, she got that killer. Yeah. That fire. It's all natural. Four C on that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> and what's crazy, you know, that's your religion, 4C. that's your culture. You got a bad one, no one will ever know, but you. Nope, nope. just you. For sure. Hey, 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 how your bitch look? You'll never know. You'll never yeah. know. Wouldn't you like to know, buddy? Not for you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never know. Only for buddy my only. Hey, he, you show up to work. Oh, she cold. Yeah. She cold. Jihad? Yeah, she cold. Nice. She, nah, she cold. I'm telling hey, you that thing back there. Never can't have a too sexy looking hey. image. You got to be regular with have, that. Have right. good Look eyes. Look down, then, bitch. Don't have good eyes and find out she got a fucking Santa beard yeah. under there. Yeah. Fucked up. Yeah. It's so shitty. Oh, oh shit. You never got to meet with her father so you can see her without this shit. <laughs> Look. Try yeah. to meet her parents. Babe. We well, can't see them either. Babe. Where's you your beard with? I need to use it. Find a girl with a pretty dad. Hope for the best. Let's, let's move on. Because <laughs> women yes. look like they daddy. <laughs> let's, let's move on, man. Uh, bum, 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 bum. You had to bust the bottle. Remember 9-11? Crazy. Where were you? Next. Next. Shit. Hey, Deuce. Take, take a second. I've been slacking. Get your phone out. out. Yeah. Unlock it. And then tell me about the bottle this week. Hold on. My sister's nagging me about something. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Boom, 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 boom. All righty. So this week on Bless the Bottle. This looks expensive. Let me turn this off real quick. All right, all right. Uh, K Love. So, so, shout out to K Love. I ain't seen her in the grip. What Lloyd Willen is saying makes complete sense. If you don't want your kids to see it, then keep them away from it. There's no guarantee they won't see it, but you can still make an effort to censor certain things. That's fair. DJ Draft Pick said, I just knew Reed was going to say something about X after Deuce mentioned the Gildan bar. Well, Drake killed XXX as long Yeah, he did. He also said the higher learning reference mid debate. I had to say it along with you. Josh El Hugo. Higher learning is fire. El Hugo said, also Shang-Chi or Shang-Chi. How do you say it? Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi. 
Shang-Chi. Like I feel like we're American. Shang-Chi. It's Shang-Chi. It's Shang-Chi. Okay, I haven't seen it yet. So it's Shang-Chi? Okay. So it's not Kung Lao? Was was one of it's the not, better a MCU sure. origin films it's a, it's I've seen. A, it's a, it's another fire. One of the better. I've I've heard a lot of good things. I can't. I didn't. I Has just anybody had a seen it yet? Yes. He, he said it was fire. I loved it. I thought well, it was good. I don't want to make you rank it, but rank it. It's good. I don't, I don't know if I put up that high. Is it better good. than Captain America? Captain America was terrible. I actually like Captain America. The first, the first one. I liked it. I can understand that. It was six hours long, and it was it was hundred pounds most of the movie. I mean, a lot. That's weird because you have such a high like. The way you rank movies, like you turn movies off, but you I like do. the first I Captain America. Some shit off. That's what you just don't like Michael B. Jordan. That's what it is. Origins uh, are tough because without remorse was better than the first Captain America. Yes, it was. Uh, Josh L. Hugo said, "War movie." I think if you're a Drake fan, you love CLB, and if you're a Kanye fan, you love Donda. The conversation on the podcast just reinforced that. I like both, but neither are close to the best music. This year, no, and I'm honestly probably never listening to either again. That's weird. Josh they, is an angry old man. Both of those albums are better than uh, Ghostface. Josh, Fuck which him. Way, he likes Boldy James. That's yeah, his, yeah. his boo, guy. boo, boo. But uh, no, I, 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 I get that take. Uh, I think they're both fire albums, man. Uh, like I said, they're better than than Ghostface. Uh, Young Seven said, "I too am an equimini nigga." Yeah. Uh, Jig Almighty nigga. said. Deuce, you don't like day. Overly Dedicated. I am the boss. You don't like Section 80. She misunderstood. It's not that I don't like Overly Dedicated. I just know niggas weren't bumping Overly Dedicated. They were not. Like that. I was. I, was, I know a handful. But we were talking about a handful of niggas. It's a very small section of niggas that were huge Kendrick Lamar fans to the point that there's, they were there's, bumping there's Overly Dedicated. There's people who will sing Loyalty at the top of their lungs never heard never Overly heard Dedicated. dedicated. <laughs> loyalty, and that's okay. loyalty, loyalty. Him included. Yeah, because well, he's a, he's a J. Cole nigga. He had there to warm up. I'm going to keep that forever. It's not true, bro. You made that up. <laughs> I didn't know. It was the come up. I know some lyrics off of one of the songs. And just, you ever heard that? What song was it? I have no idea what song it was. See? I woke up early in the morning. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, 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 oh man. <laughs> because oh, this is a sick thing, bro. That's, 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 that's show, sus. Now, that's you, sus. You don't know the next one. Especially you two niggas. Who his go-to is give me a lyric and you can't ever do it. You shut the fuck up. That's true. But that's what you should know. Shut up. But that's that's the verse that's in, the, in, the, in the in the cold yeah. in the cold kingdom. Isn't dreams on you the come up? Be able, yes, I know. That's why I know I've heard it. It's my favorite. You should J. Cole be able song. to finish the bars to that one though. Uh, thanks for doing that, guys. I can't stop my head. That. That's one but of my favorite. I know my favorite J Cole songs on the on the mixtape, so I know I've heard it. It's okay. I love dream. I see like the soil. I teach him about. Oh, if I didn't know the last one, I know this one. <laughs> I, teach him that I love you, bro, but yeah. that's uh, This is what he does. Y'all shut up. <laughs> and he rolled through the ghetto and even been close. Ah, I miss that guy. Uh, how? What is wrong with y'all? I'm not. I'm hurt hearing Punished. Jig on my said, all right, now I'm okay. catching up on last week's pod. Y'all cooking me over these bars. <laughs> Nasty. I do Nasty. have a pack in the fridge that's, right now. And, and I'm a concerned. sick motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I'm getting cooked. <laughs> them hot dogs ain't take two years to cook them motherfuckers. Uh, she tweeted like a million things. I can, I'm not reading all these. Uh, Ruru I get up. That's that song. Fuck you. Ruru Lisa. Just said, give me a second. It hit me. You would never still know the lyrics, David but, Ruffin. No, the song. I'm sorry. Be, be Ruff does not know how to count his books. <laughs> Literally every time he only had two, two books, his and him and his partner went bored every time. Every time. Look here. And yes, I'm still upset. I'd say so the thing about playing with Ruby is that she wanna win. <laughs> one, the first game, her and her partner got rid of the score sheet. They threw it. Mm-hmm. Never to be seen again. And second, first they of all. They probably threw it far too because they're strong. First of all, first of all, <laughs> first of all, we were, we were beating Where'd them. Where'd it go? We were beating them with like nines and tens of diamonds. Why are we beating you? And why are you uh, cutting, why strange, are you cutting man. your partner? Y'all just weren't that good. That's I'm strange, talking. man. That's I'm not, strange. And I'm, and I'm type of space behavior. player. I'm not going to count a 10 as a guaranteed book ever. I feel it. Sorry. Yeah, no, no, you can't. No, uh, that makes no sense. WEMC Donna said, Deuce, are you having sex with people? Rough, not people. Bitches. <laughs> Bars. Uh, that was a bar. uh, damn, Jiggle Mighty went crazy. She has like 13 tweets. I cannot read all these. I appreciate the tweets, though. Thank um, you. She said, Knife Talk is fire, but way too Jigga. sexy is trash for me. Oh, wait too, mm. way too sexy. What you sexy hits in the club? King James the Third said, "Fellas, I definitely need y'all to record this t- this game of twenty one and three point contest for YouTube. I'm ready. I want to do it. I want to play twenty one. I can. I'm, I'm. I can't play full court five on five. I can play twenty one. Lloyd, I'm, let's do a three point contest. 
I got a clip. Man. Play yeah, horse. I got a clip. Huh? I'm down. We play horse. <laughs> I'm nothing. Like let's listen, do the three point contest. It might, it might have to go on the Patreon shooting though. Shooting horse. Okay. Where niggas don't do crazy shit off the off the wall. No, nigga, we getting shots. That ain't horse, nigga. It is. Yeah. Because I might jump off the kick off the yeah, wall. Yeah, I'm definitely. Yeah, I'm go going in. crazy. I'm shooting behind the backboard. That's nigga. fine, but I'm talking about niggas that do the. Yeah, that's maybe. horse. Yeah. Hey, snacks. Could you film a video, a basketball game for us? Yeah. In 4K. That snacks is back dun, on the screen dun, right now, guys. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. Uh, Damn is Brown said, tune into my favorite podcast. Shout out to Cash. Appreciate you. Dear uh, Dr. Sippy Maine. Did y'all know he changed his name? I ain't peeped that. I didn't. Shout out to Sippy Maine. Doc. Sip. Y'all Doctors, already know Dr. how I'm rocking this Congrats. morning with the episode right. post. Uh, I am John too said, the pregame need that bar as sponsorship. That was a great pause, rough. Fill it out a little more when they get in them buns. LMAO. Shout out to Cash. I appreciate y'all doing that, man. It's a great way to put other people on. Thank you so much. Run that it. is all I have this week. <laughs> Bless <laughs> the <laughs> bottle. Join the I, conversation. I we're there. <laughs> See you next week. Yeah, that's the Ron. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's it. This That's the blue cat. Yeah. <laughs> the sour it's, punch straws. Yes, sir. Awesome. The mo, that's the mo better. Snacks can't one for himself. What? Yeah, pass them, bro. Pop up pass. Thank you. Pass the duchy on your left hand side. It's like side. a variety boy, too. It's fire. It's fire. It's like pineapple in there. Ooh, now, wait a minute. We ain't talking wait. about that. Yeah, man. I, I was looking for them flavors. last week. I got two for everybody. Come on. The flavors. Make sure I get some now. Uh, I just want to see the flavors. Rainbow Sorry. strawberry, cherry, green. Ooh, now blue raspberry. That's it. You don't miss it? I don't want none. I got them all. Talking about the tweets. I Jig really had 12. I couldn't That's read true. them all. I don't Thank want you one. for tapping in. Put your friends on. Pass the duchy on your left. Like a little kid. Do we have any reviews this week? <laughs> no. We're coming up on like a two months. Damn near. Hey man, no reviews. They gave us candy. <laughs> my pa's been eating the sour punch straw. They so far. One of my favorite candies growing up. <laughs> of all time. I don't know. I don't be huge on them like that. He these are airheads for me. The grape airhead, blue raspberry airhead, iconic cherry airhead, mm-hmm. iconic. They obviously don't have no pork in them. They do not have pork in them. The no. tropical skittles, iconic. No gelatin. Um, the sour bright crawlers, iconic. They still putting pork in the candy. Which they stop. The sour they no. stop a lot of it, bro. Remember, Find I, something I, looked, else. I looked that up and it was like it's gone. We don't do that no more. Nah, nigga. When my favorite candies got gelatin, I was hurt. Them hot, them hot chews from like Japan. Oh, nigga. Wow. Hey, far. But That's you was eating them before, right? Well, they're not halal. And once you, you find out, you got to stop. Yeah. <laughs> it, that, now you knew you did on purpose. Now, they do on purpose at that point. Yeah. Also, the bait, the, excuse me, not the bait, the, the Boston the baked beans. Like, Damn, iconic. you was eating that Jap- yeah, Japanese, Japanese that was what candy. Boston baked beans is not half working. We looked that up. Yeah, it's clean. Iconic. You trip. And it's halal. <laughs> Big <laughs> fire. <laughs> you trip. It would, yeah. it would suck if that's the one thing that kept you out. I would be very uh, upset. We'd have a conversation about it. I appreciate your devotion. God like, bro. I'm trying to debate with God. So sit down and talk to me. This is just, you know, have a conversation. Come on. Come so on I want to. All the stuff I did. You got to think of what I was doing when I ate that, too. Yeah. I was yeah, giving sure. back to the kids. Cutting um, the grass. Somebody threw me one. I just was quick. I smoke a bag of hot chew in a hot in a, a second. Hot chews is fire. I got a bag at the crib right now. Now, my apologies, man. Again, though, make sure you rate this variety of on iTunes. Been doing this for a long time. I'm trying to make a career out of this. You really are. You know, that's the goal. That's the dream right there. Um, so by you writing that review, that really helps us out a lot. Helps our families out as well. So make sure you do that. I'm tugging at them heartstrings. Man, I'm trying, man. Come Top on. Top of the moaning. Come on, Top new listeners. Moaning. Top of the moaning. I know y'all out there. And also one of y'all's favorite candies growing up, man. I gave y'all mine. Airheads, Skittles, Sour Punch Straws, near and dear to my heart. Next. <laughs> Nothing more enthused but the news. Da, da, da. New oh. crib. <laughs> Ain't nothing Hit more. Hit them all. Hit up some Gucci. Gucci. <laughs> Ain't nothing more in the shoes. Next. Next, all right, news this week, man. Uh, I got one story. It's crazy. Yeah, right. Uh, what? Nah, that's it. For real. Just one. One. For one, sure. One thing about one, like one. fanatics and extremism, it is dangerous. Yes. You know, a lot of these individuals are following something that's blind. They're so passionate about it, they're willing to do anything for it. Top of the morning. To the point where they lose touch of reality and they do stupid things. I don't know, like, you know, playing 9 11 or kill their kids. Do you just call Islam extreme? 
Islam can be extreme. There's also extreme Christians Definitely. called the Klan. Yeah. Yeah. There's also okay. some called the Jewish. That, it's also some called the JDL, the Jewish Defense League. They do terrorist acts as well. I've never every heard of single them. religion has extremists in in them. Really? So we should nah, not. That's legit. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm we should sorry. not ever condemn one religion for being extreme. The Klan, they praise Jesus Christ. Do you they know do. that? Ku Klux Klan. Yeah, our, that's our a Lord, Christian organization. Our Lord and Savior. Yeah, they love Him and yeah. they hate niggers. They hate niggers. <laughs> it's gonna be a sad day when Jesus come. Boy, they not gonna what to do. No fucking way. But is that a fraud? <laughs> You're fucking kidding me. He's got, got brains. Dead. He's got brains. Hey, I just seen a. Uh, hey, look at me. Oh, his shit gonna be fucking laid too. Motherfucker Ooh. just got the retwist. You know people gonna be doing like, them, uh, gonna be like Q's retwist. Gonna be braided up to the back. Ooh, it's gonna be people gonna be doing them. He's having shit lined up right in the beer. Gonna be. Bra- it's gonna be glistening. They gonna be so braids and with the magnolia green. So hey, I just seen it was an Instagram it was Air TikTok Maxes video. And shit. And you're right. not from that. It's one of those things that was like <laughs> from Bethlehem. You know, yeah, like, Mike's on. Tell me you're single without telling me you're single. Uh-huh. I think the chick said something along the lines of, uh, "Tell me something that wasn't in the Bible without telling me something that wasn't in the Bible." And the white chick came on and said, "I saw that white, white people. people. Yeah, they were trying to talk about that. They were there. They were in the back end though. <laughs> that white lady was. She, she was like, yeah. white man tried to let Jesus go, but niggas was like, nah, kill him. <laughs> Crazy, ain't it? <laughs> hey, said, Judas was probably dark as fuck with his Judas ass. Pilate said, Y'all won't kill him? I, we kill him? Nah, kill him. Kill that nigga. They were I got so the bad. rope right here. Um, Turn that motherfucker. He had me wash his motherfucking feet. He gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was weird. They nigga. hated that nigga. That nigga think he the son of God. Fuck yeah. him. <laughs> then three days later, <laughs> dancing out. He rose again. Fresh I rock hell. Gucci, Louis Prada, niggas. No, I got that sack. <laughs> exactly. He came out with that. Fuck all y'all. You dying in a week too, by the way. Fuck all y'all. Catch you later. I know there was some shit. Niggas went to the tomb. And it was empty. <laughs> Jesus folded his clothes up and left. <laughs> he rose. He rose. <laughs> he <laughs> rose from the dead. That's wild. <laughs> Jesus folded the linen up. Said, I ain't going to need this no more. I got my own white sheets to wear yeah. today. Put on that new, that new Gucci shit they got from his daddy. Nigga. Suited and booted. Oh. <laughs> All right, man. It's Holy over already. He's gonna die. Who's he fighting? <laughs> some, some nigga. Some, some nigga under forty. <laughs> and it doesn't even matter. This nigga's gonna die. Somebody's gonna have blood on me. <laughs> Why'd I do it? <laughs> Who's I, I killed a legend. I knew, I knew he couldn't go in there. I let him in there anyway. Oh, oh God. He's walking everywhere. Oh, oh, oh my God. It's over already. They try to kill him. Oh. Why would they let this happen? This is the same Oh, oh, why would they do this? This is so dangerous. Oh, Lord. He's 60. <laughs> this is, this is... Hey, oh, he just called it off. Oh, he waved it. Hey, it's over. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry. This is in the middle of the show. This is not like what Mike Tyson was fighting for. Joe, this is out there playing. This is a real fight. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hand oh. me that liquor, oh. please? Oh, 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 oh I need some more. Oh, nigga, trying to pop over the oh. champagne. Hell yeah, yeah. No, I ain't popping that fucking champagne. Hot, it's hot. <sighs> it is. Yeah. Hey. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. we got ice. They, go they down tried to sa- kill it. They tried to kill a legend. Are you done? I'm they go down the same way. <sighs> Pause. All right, man. My fault, man. Hey, bring it back to news. <sighs> Again, that fanatic shit, watch out for that extremist shit. Watch out for that. That's strange. If you're into that, watching those videos, don't let them turn you. Really cry. It's crazy. All right. So, a California father who said he was enlightened by QAnon to kill his 10-month-old daughter and two-year-old son with a spearfishing gun in Mexico was indicted Wednesday by a federal grand jury in San Diego nigga according to authorities. He, nigga thought he was Captain Ahab. Yeah, he's a wild nigga, man. Uh, nigga Matthew, he's in the Blue Lagoon. For sure, man. Matthew Taylor Coleman, 40, is charged with two counts of foreign first-degree murder of United States nationals. He got three first names. He's white. It's always them guys. Matthew Taylor yeah. Coleman. Coleman, Three yeah. first names. The U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of California said in a statement, Coleman, a, a surfing instructor from Santa Barbara. Santa we, Barbara, man, y'all damn near the... Y'all got a sleeper cell over there. Sleeper cell. It might. It's not y'all. I'm saying uh, Bernardino, whatever, somewhere out there in California, South LA, where y'all going on, man? Hey, 
Y'all got to do better. <laughs> Could face the death penalty. You should. According Tomorrow, to the state. Tomorrow, right? waiting on. Cali still got that? Uh, which know that the Attorney General will decide whether to seek the death penalty at a later date. Uh, so, again, man, that's all I got this week. I don't want to read into it too much, but that q and I shit is weird, real. I can't talk today. That q and I shit is real. I actually saw a clip a couple of months ago, man, uh, this summer about this this guy basically threatening society, saying, hey, if we don't fix this government, we don't do this political change, I'm going to then, or my followers, my people are going to then commit violent acts mm. uh, to bring about change. I look at that document on 9-11 today. That was very interesting. Uh, they define terrorism as <clears throat> any violent act um, that results in mass casualties, which is ultimately trying to bring about political or fundamental change. Talking about for the Patriot Act. No, I'm talking about terrorism. Just the definition of terrorism. Say that one more time. Any violent act, yes, any any violent group mm-hmm. that's going to use violence mm-hmm. to bring about political change. So the them terrorists at the Capitol building, yes, they call yes. it an insurrection, but it was terrorist attack. They're starting to go to terrorism. jail, actually. Surprisingly, because they they fucking broke into a federal building and tried to kill people. No, I'm just happy it's happening because at first it didn't seem like it was going to happen. But uh, even still. The rhetoric is, it was an insurrection. It was a terrorist attack. I had never heard it was the political word insurrection until that day. You know what? If for insurrection, for me, what it was, it was a, it was a WWE pay per view. Because they used to always use cool words like vengeance. Star Trek yeah. insurrection. Fucking, for me, yeah. Very fire movie. It's just, this is ridiculous. It was a terrorist attack. I think, and what it is, is that, you know why they have to go to jail? Is because they got to send these little niggas to jail because they, they want, want to go They to don't the want to investigate it yeah. because it goes deep. Go it high. goes, yeah. Oh, well, then people was letting them in there, bro. Yeah. We, we we not watching the gate between eleven and eleven forty. My Y'all cheek, gotta come my in. cheekbones. Hurt I'm sorry, from laughing. Bro. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and again, if those people, <laughs> I'm sorry. And I always want to bring back to the main point because we should. Dying. If those people were black and brown on January sixth, they'd be dead. Yeah. Yeah. Shot if those in. people were they from, shot them niggas in. even that black police officer that was running from the white people for sure. Hot one and one of them niggas. If those people said anything in direct relation to Islam, their country would be blown off the map. That. Is the problem? For the love of a lot, one of them is over. That's the it's problem, over. man. That's when that. things get you creepy for me. Stop. You can't. You gotta stop. <laughs> I'm allowed. You don't want us to make it. He's not doing as good. Oh, I'm damn! I, you can't he, do that. He has spoken. That's a whole nother sound you just made. You <laughs> he almost punched show. me. I did not. Yeah, shout out. Um, but that's all I got for news this week. Let's move on. <clears throat> Proud of you. Next. 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 Just uh, like news. Turn on the music. Turn on the music. Where's the Marvel Gay movie? Top of the morning. I don't know. They won't release it. And I'm about to tell you, Daddy dead and he dead too. Yeah, it's dead. What happened? I shot that nigga. Uh, so music this week, real quick. Um, <clears throat> Baby Kim dropped, and for those who don't know, who Baby Kim is Baby Kim is Kendrick Lamar's little cousin from Las Vegas. Most people think it's an industry Ooh, plan. Man. I believe it's an industry plan because he kind of just popped up one day as a a nigga that you had to hear. Do you think he's that? I think he has connections, so he's he, he's important. Hmm. I don't I don't find him to be overly talented personally. He got um, some hitters though. Not people like some of his stuff. His album, I've I've heard great things. Me personally, it was not my vibe. It, it wasn't. Uh, it didn't make you feel nothing. No, nah, not even that. It just didn't sound good. I don't know if the sequencing was right either. So that's important. You don't like you don't care about sequencing. The rap how can one. I tell a rapper how to hey. put his songs in order, bro? Question you're, for you're, you. Hold on, stop before you go ahead. You're, you're definitely a nigga that says, "I love when the album got three or four in a row." That's sequencing. I do, but that's how they plan it that way. I can't tell them. Yeah, to but do if it they right. don't, then they don't have three or four in a row. I don't know better than him. Maybe you do. No, I'm just a regular nigga. But whatever, it didn't make me feel nothing, man. He didn't take enough. Oh, you're risk. on a mission. He didn't take enough risk for me. I'm on that for the rest of the. Year. I like got that. you. It's weird. He didn't take enough risk for me. What's that? He didn't First evolve all, the from do rag activity. So the king was cool. It definitely some tracks that were definitely missed for him, but he got some hitters on there. I need mean, my nigga Kendrick artist. Lamar to wake up, stop bullshitting. Clearly, he's the first on the PJ Lang. I feel like Kendrick Lamar, the bars were fine. Oh, so he signed to Kendrick. Yeah, bro, that PG Lang fool. That's that's the new. Okay, cool. I didn't know. Yeah, I thought he was top dog. He's definitely. K Dot's new artist. Got you. His cousin. Keeping the family. Family ties. Hey, shout out to y'all. That's amazing. For him to do that to his artist is weird because he gave him two boo boo bars. I don't think so. I think the K Dot was being K Dot. He brought us some, some they made important you. They things. Made you related to him. I got but higher. I got higher. This is my this is my statement. This is my commentary. Did you relate to him? Who? <laughs> the Kendrick bars. Oh, I thought you were arguing I about it. They were Drake. cool. 
You said you want to come out and argue about it. Who said I you're, like I'm not the, talking about you are begging with him to argue with you? I'm not talking about Drake. No, I said I'm, I want to ask him. Did no. you relate to him? Yeah, well, I like the bar. I like the bars on Range Brothers. Hey, who, who are you yeah. talking about? What is? What I is, said, did you relate to the? Where do we go? What is, what is fueling this? I thought that was the standard for albums. We have to relate to them. Hold on, Niggas have to take risks. Listen. They have to be singles perfectly. I'm your yes friend. No. I'm your friend. Just tell me. I know. Where is this coming from? From what I from what I've understood the past few weeks is that niggas have to relate to the bars. They got to make you feel something. They have to be sequenced person, and this is based. And upon, niggas have to evolve from what they did before. And this is all based on Drake. No question. I didn't say Drake. You did. I Bro. don't give a fuck about Drake. Why are you doing okay. this? Because he's this. I just want to ask, ask so, a question. So a couple, <laughs> couple of things. <laughs> Answer my question. And I, you know, I listen to the episodes every week. So I go back and I get new ideas, new statements. I want to say to you specifically. So we talked about Big Sean a lot on this show. One of the biggest things, our biggest knocks on Big Sean is that he doesn't, nigga. he doesn't evolve, right? He doesn't evolve. The music so, doesn't change. So whack that's, turf that's, that's, joke. We've led that. I've never said that word in my life. I say it's not that good anymore. You never debate that because he just kind of stays the same, or I've he never, doesn't. That's not how I think. I just think it doesn't sound good. So Sorry. when you and one thing we do in our in our brotherhood and fam, we like to compare albums, compare uh-huh. artists to artists. Yeah. What are you with used good to, reason? Okay, what do you use to compare? What what are, what is your what sounds better what's your to me? Rubric? What's your rubric? What for sounds this? better to me? But niggas have broken down even further. What's rough? No, what rubric? is your rubric for that? What, the rubric, what do I like? like it? Does push, it hit for me? Put, no, no. Okay, well, Does put it your, sound good to me. Put your top five rappers. Give, give us your top five so rappers. Good on this my, my top five rappers ever. Yes, or it's like today and and rank them one through five. One do, being the best. Oh. Do today. And why? Today. And, oh, today. And why, and why is okay, that? Um, and why is that artist the best to you? Why is that? Okay, Jermaine Cole. Why is he the best? Uh, because he's got bars, nigga, and you know that. Don't argue with me on that. It's not one that you can do. Stop. Uh, number two, Kendrick Lamar. Duh, you heard. Damn. Three. Uh, today, uh, Lil Wayne, old shit, and some of the new shit. Uh, four, Drake, obviously. And five, five is tough for me because I want to say Rick Ross, but I also want to say Big Crit. So, so why? Okay. So specifically speaking, why is J. Cole better than those other four artists? Because he raps better than them currently. Rap. Give me more than that. No. Because they me, all rap well. How are you going to tell me to evaluate it and then the way I'm evaluating is not good enough Give for me, you? Okay. He raps better than them. He's passing your, st- your test. You're not giving enough landmines. <laughs> Need some more setups. Throw your jab. <laughs> he raps better than them niggas. <laughs> Get your jab out there. You keep coming with the it right. Had nothing to do with his albums. He raps better than them niggas. That's all you got. Currently, today, he's top of the moment. Rapping top better the than them niggas. Top of the moment. That's all I care about is so the top five rappers right now. It's tough. Because I like young. I like a lot of niggas. It's tough. But Coley, he Coley, raps Coley, better Coley, than Coley, them Coley, niggas. Coley. He's better rapping. That's all you got. Yeah, that's that's the. Can my, you do me that's a favor? It for you. Can you admit that that? vitriol you just spewed at your cousin was because of Drake and we can move on I didn't say I didn't did I say Drake or did they say Drake that's, but you're not answering his question I'm asking you as a friend and not at all I, I was, would tell you exactly I thought, what it is I thought that we had a new rubric for ranking the music and <laughs> yeah, I thought it was because cool. how you feel mm-hmm. and sequencing and I did hear an interesting evolution. take about the Drake this last week it was saying that it sounded like somebody trying to make a Drake album does that, does that make sense no no and also, I, I gotta tell you, I've I also gotta. I've also heard real quick. I've also heard niggas say it was supposed it was called Certified Love Boy. He wasn't being Certified Love Boy. So in your mind, you thought Certified Love Boy means this. And he didn't make it how I thought it was supposed to be. It's weird. <clears throat> I'll they say thought, this. They thought it was a, yeah. Um, you, you can do that to yourself sometimes. It's definitely these are two very popular, very polarizing artists. The Drake album would hit more for more people, but it's been put up against another artist that everybody loves. So you got to choose a side. You, you feel like I got to pick a side. The niggas are never going to let Drake win against Kanye West. And, and that's just Kanye not going to happen. And I'm okay with that. But if this it Drake album comes out when it's supposed to, it's really... It comes out in January. We'll have a different conversation, bro. It, it, I mean, but it came out a week apart and this is what it's going to be. It's what it's going to be. And I think Josh is very on point with you like what you like and that's okay. Yeah. Well, I love... I like both the niggas. Uh, but the, the rhetoric they around Drake's me, albums... Albums. It's been different. It, it's the same shit, and he. It's just my thing. He never. He never <clears throat> takes risks. These are niggas who I probably never heard but, my okay, so, name. So let time. me say this: Then you're analyzing music on a very surface level level basis, right? You say, oh, because it's all opinion based. I'm allowed but to do that. But the thing is, there's some there's some people that want to analyze and get into all the weeds and the production and sound what they're able to now, do. The as Drake artists. production is crazy. Stop. Stop. No, the, the Drake Stop. production is nice, but it's not better than Kanye West. It's not better Duh, than, because it's, it's Kanye West. I right. know that. So, so understand that. So, if I say that I just Kanye never West, heard about production this much. <laughs> never. So if, That's artist not true, creativity. Not, not to this level, bro. Like it is. 
Kanye yes. album don't have to be good lyrically because but, the production is really crazy. I'm, when I listen to My, rappers, you know fantasy production's crazy, right? But so are the the tracks and the and the bars. And the like, this nigga crazy. crazy. What about when Pablo? I, I, I love There's some Pablo's, crazy raps on there too because the, Chance went nuts. It's ridiculous. And, and, and I'm Chris, Chris Brown also has the best feature on there. I'm at the um, concert living in that album, enjoying yes. the words and the lyrics. Maybe Kendrick Lamar, but probably Chris Brown. So it's just. Think about it. And I'm not here to argue this week. I'm really not. But I, I might have that's for another day. Yeah, I might have chance. Again, it's because they've come out at the same time. It is very much like yeah. Kobe LeBron, we're going to have to argue. It's the way it is. And we found out at and, the end is that we didn't have to end, argue about that. We didn't have to do that. But we in the time, I didn't want to hear that shit. We was arguing. Yeah. But no, I listen to rappers because I like rap music. Hip hop saved my life. I like niggas that rap. Let's Hip-hop bring it back home. Uh, yeah. Baby King, work harder, bro. Try harder. Do more. And honestly, it, like I said, it's a piece. It might, might like not it. been for everybody. Yeah, the might, might like it. Because like I said, <clears throat> the beat switch is cool. He beat switch every song. And it's weird. You know what's... And he has adopted the Kendrick Lamar alien rap type shit. There's it's, a tweet. It's whatever, man. It. It's a pretty funny tweet. Cool. You guys argue for like I'm, two I'm not a rapper, baby King, so, so I'm sorry. What you just said, it's like we're not allowed to do that for Kanye and Drake. We can't say it's not for everybody about their albums. One's got to be for one, one's got to be for the other. We're not allowed to do that. I, I, I think we can definitely do that. But I think it's when, it, when you want to start comparing and start listening to who your ghosts are, who's the best rapper of all time, it's all these different types of things are going to come up for you to judge based on that. Yeah. Okay, no, but but at the end of that answer. conversation, <clears throat> Kanye and Drake are both in the top five. Answer me, and this is That's true all story. That matters. If I sit in this seat and say, the Kanye's not for me, you look at me like I'm crazy. Like, are you listening? Well, you didn't know, feel we, it, bro. We know you said that last week. Though. But anybody I'll, can say it. I'll stand on if you don't like Donda. It's because you're not willing to admit that you don't like Kanye West as a person anymore. He's, not, he's pissed you you're, off. You're not willing to accept the Holy Ghost of Kanye. Not even West. that. No, no. That's what it sounds it's like. It's just that you Kanye has, Kanye has done something to you to piss you off to the point where you can't yeah, connect Donda, with music anymore. Donda is really, but all, but I can say and that's, that that's you. But I can say the same thing. If you don't like the certified lover boy, Drake has done something to you to make you upset. That's not true. But that's not, fire. I would say that, but it's that's not no because you don't believe that. But I'm standing on if if I gotta. If I gotta be okay with that, yeah, because the I niggas gotta it. be okay with that but shit. What, what would that? What would that thing be? Because it's easy to see what Kanye did. We know what Kanye did. Drake just made an album with him rapping crazy on it. That's all he ever does. No, I mean like, what? What would be that thing? Like, there was there was clearly a three to four year period of time where niggas like, it's hey, the ghostwriting. Fuck it's Kanye the ghostwriting. It's, it's the ghostwriting. It's two hours deep. That was it's the maga shit. Writing, bro. That two or three albums. Deep that was now, the maga shit that made niggas say fuck Kanye West. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Listen, there's, a, there's a thing you could point to to say specifically him, Lloyd Willen. It's been funny with Drake. And he hasn't disliked Drake, but he's looked at him differently since the the uh Quentin Miller shit. Quentin Miller it's wrote changed. energy and it got weird from there, which is a dumb thing to stick to. I, I, I'm not calling it dumb. It's fair for me to start looking at you different now. It'll be the same way when we don't think that you're not writing your raps and we find out you we, we think you're writing and we find out you're not. It's like, nigga, I but you Yeah, but that was just a couple raps he didn't write. We don't know he didn't Is write. Is that not the change? That's, it got that's what it different. was for him. For it sure. got, and it's yeah. a lot of people are different. It just yeah. all and I'm now saying niggas got to make thriller every go around. Or niggas have, be satisfied. But, the pro- but the problem with that is though is that that's that's just your perspective on music and that. But if I'm looking at if I'm looking at K Dot, if I'm looking at K Dot ain't dropping like six years. At, Why are we talking about him, bro? We're not about to discredit what this man has done with his his Talk about niggas who make music Top currently. of the morning. You know Top what I'm saying? Nah, Top but I'm, if I'm looking at his run of albums, it's it's okay to say, you know what? K-Dot's theme, K-Dot's evolution in his, in his raps, his artistry has uh-huh. developed. And that's, and that's a good argument to bring to a table when you're comparing artists. If you don't want to do that, that's on you. But the world does that. We that's, start looking that's at who's fine. the goal and who's but niggas, not. But niggas want Drake to evolve and switch it up. When he has already done that, how did niggas, How did it go? I hated it. He didn't like it. Niggas don't. I niggas think, heard I, that. I, niggas heard that. more life. It was like, what the fuck I, is a Medina rhythm? I'm Blam for real. Shut up. I like Niggas, Blam. Shut your mouth. <laughs> solid. But I'm Blam more life's for the weakest Drake. But when Drake has already shown you that he's going to switch it up Drake. and branch like out to... So some other shit. Niggas already don't like it. So why would he keep doing that? What is what? What do you want him to evolve? Do you want him to do punk rock? You want to do country? No, what the I fuck do you think, want him I to do? I just think it's, it's the th- same. So to be fair, I think with Drake, what he does is it's not broken. He don't need to fix it. It's just he may never 
make one of those pivotal projects. He did already. It's called Take Care. Stop. I don't he think already, people look at Take Care. He's already done it. They're sick. I don't think anybody looks they at Take Care. They got a problem. There's something wrong They don't look at Take Care like the Blueprint or the Black Album but or Damn. Here's another thing. Or and there's a lot of shit. So it's, it's just it, as good as but, all those albums. Be, because no, Kanye on, West. I, well, hold on. Wait a minute. Because Kanye is Kanye. I don't say it's better. He he stepped off the block and it really worked well. And he gets love for it every time he does it now. 808s, he really stepped away from what he was doing. Drake has suffered from the thing where he did not get the 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 classic out the gate or the classic early on. So people are still waiting for his classic. Take care of the classic. But let me ask you. You got to go back and do that. You weren't saying that when it came out. Yes, I was. L- let me ask you this. Out the gate. Let me ask you this. Deuce. All right, well, never mind. Let me ask you this, Deuce. What's up? If you step outside the box and it's not good, do you get credit for stepping outside the box? No. Maybe if it sounds Niggas will say, good. damn, Drake. That's why no, I'm saying if you, if you do some different shit and it's just not for everybody, you get credit for it. Kanye West would, Drake huh? would not. Chance the rapper to do that. <laughs> or Lil Wayne. Hey, Kanye West will get the credit. Lil Wayne. Wayne. Other niggas cannot. Yes, Chance, that's, that's, Chance that's my can't point. get the credit. Well, the chance was garbage. Even <laughs> Wayne couldn't get it. Drake came. Wayne made it. He wanted you, to play the guitar and make rock can, music. Can we ask that? He's completely out of what he does. Do you think that second but, chance album is better than that? He started making rock, rock and roll music. But Reed, if the okay. rock and roll music would have been fire, how much how much more would that have elevated Lil Wayne? Hot Revolver is a good rock song. You didn't answer my question. If the album was fire. Prom Queen's a good rock song. If the album was fire. <laughs> but, dudes, that's what I'm saying. Y'all would have. Lil Wayne would be untouchable. Dudes, that's what this motherfucker made a rock and roll album. It's a classic. He made. A rock album because he was untouchable. I can do whatever the fuck I want to do now. Yeah. I'm so big, I'll just play the guitar. And y'all gonna listen. And I, I, I watched him play it on the stage. Okay. And, and it's got an all time classic doom, song. Doom, Drop the World was big. Doom, doom. But when it you, was terrible. But listen, but when you start comparing, and again, I'm a Wayne fanatic, but when you start comparing Wayne to the other GOAT rappers, he does not usually round out. Those top three well, rappers. You, you hate Drake so much, you definitely Listen, disrespect the Lil Wayne. I don't hate Drake, man. That's weird. I've, I've, I've never heard you say that about Lil Wayne in my entire existence. Lil Wayne's not a top existence. three rapper ever? That, 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 I've never heard you say that in my entire no, existence. It's listen, getting... I w- no. The listen, neighborhood is smoky. Listen, Y'all be listen, safe out. I will, I will, I will, I will say this He's again. He's ugly here. I don't think, I don't think I, Wayne's longevity has been there for the last... I've never heard you on this. Years. Is he a top three rapper ever? Cause you name me, on different name lists. me two people that rap better than Dwayne. Are you on? The, are you on that tonight? You had to no more as drink. Wayne, Wayne as an artist. See, and here we go. This that's He's that struggling. Kanye shit. There it go. No, because we talking Wayne, about rappers. No, Who's the best rapper you've ever heard in your life? Lil Wayne is one of them for me. For sure. So, I, but I just asked you, Wayne, his, not a top three but, but rapper his, ever. But his longevity in the game Still, has suffered. Nigga, you were just talking about last week how he's been a, killing shit in 2021. Yeah, what his are you talking features about? have been crazy. That's this is, is hard talking. This Wayne, is my problem Project, with the Wayne, artist shit. Wayne Projects? Nah, hate talking. This Wayne is my Projects? Problem. This is my problem with the artist when is, shit. Okay, is, listen, listen. This is my frustration. When I like Carter last, 5. When is the last good Wayne Project for real? For real. I don't know. Man, it's been a long time. But this is my problem, Lloyd. And this, you got, this, you got the Eminem effect for sure. Let's just back up. It's been a minute. I asked y'all. you. That's okay. Listen, I asked you, was Wayne a top three rapper ever? You came back with artists. If we're going to talk about artists, stop talking about Kanye West. Let's talk about Michael Jackson and Prince, Ray Charles, Stevie Wonder, because those are artists. It's similar to Eminem. Cause like, but do you see ten, what I'm saying? We're talking about, about rapping. Rap. Talking about rap. rap, and you talk about artists. Rap. Kanye got to come out the conversation. I'm just talking about Prince. Hold on. Why is Kanye not in a conversation for artists? Because I Cause asked he, you. Because he hates them now. No, that's not it. I asked that's you. That's what Kanye is. And I'm sure it's on camera. I asked you, was was Wayne a top three rapper ever? And you said, is he a better artist? Kanye is not a top five question. artist ever. I Because the niggas that make this music uh, on some Stevie Wonder shit are way better artists than Kanye West. I see. I don't know that's fair to Kanye West if you said that. It ain't fair to Steve Wonder for you to compare Kanye West well, to well, 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 Kanye West doesn't have anything better than songs in Key of Life, and we're just going to have to. Just not even so, a little bro, bit. We're, talk, we're talking about a rap, rapper, ain't we? a rapper, producer. <laughs> so why are we talking about an artist? When I'm... Because, because, Rick. Thought you weren't because, on the other day. Because he's bigger, in my opinion. He's bigger Kanye, than Stevie? No. But Kanye makes, for uh, our generation, Beyonce. hell yes. Uh, hell yes. No, he's not bigger than Stevie Wonder. Yeah, I, I love, I love no, Kanye I'm West. Not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you a lot. Boy, you, you don't under. believe that either, nigga. You heard songs in the key of life at a young I age just like me. We the last time. You don't Boy, believe that. Boy. Stop. Boy, <laughs> I love Kanye too, but stop. Kanye West is definitely more important to me than Stevie Wonder. Come on. We're having different conversations. Come on now. To us, but what's the bigger picture? He said to us, our generation. Okay, cool. The goal. That's, I, I, that's fair. The goalposts keep moving. That's though. fair. 
The goalpost is moving, but that's fair. To me and you, Kanye West has done more for us. But the bigger picture, when we're talking about He's uh, up there with We're them. talking about greatest of all time. No, he's not. You have to, Bree, I feel like not. you're disrespecting. Oh, yeah. Bree, we are talking about someone who has seven classics. Y'all got to stop being disrespectful to this man. Are we talk, this uh, is crazy. Are we going to bring up classics? We're talking about Kanye. We're talking about Stevie Wonder, Prince Michael. We're, we're going to bring classics up. You know I don't fuck a Prince like that. <laughs> who? Me. I understand you don't. I don't do anything about it. I don't, I don't know if Prince got that many. <laughs> the man so has many multiple classic what? rap albums. What's the multiple. albums? Probably Purple Rain, I guess. I don't know. Maybe. Kanye has six rings, man. The symbol once this known is, as Prince. It's crazy, <laughs> man. Like, and I, I get that we are a hip hop podcast. Yeah. Y'all, y'all yeah. starts to put Kanye West at the top of the artist list. Come on, weird now. to me. Well, that's weird. It's you then. It is. It is it weird a lot weird of people. To me. It makes it a lot ain't of just sense. me. It's weird a lot of yeah. people. But there's something about hip hop artists. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's let's put him at the top. He's up there. Yeah. He's top three hip hop artists. Okay, c- question for you: Why are you holding? Uh, just, 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 just what I'm just thinking right now. Why are you holding uh, singing and songwriting over rap? He's the over main rap. rap for sure. Because when he does it, he jumps from rap and this goes to singers and music makers. But he doesn't include any. Like, other why rappers. are you not including their artists? Why are you not including rapping that? Why are you not including that and then being that? Because when you, because you, talented. you were the one who initially separated rapping from artistry. Thank you. you did are that. we talking about rapping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Artists. No, because I think no, I think said, Kanye West says artistry. He says, yeah, but Prince. Michael Jackson, you, know, you never say a rapper. Ever. I don't. There's, that's that's weird to me. That. There's no other rapper. It's weird that to me like that you put him in this. It's so like. weird. And we're going to have this why, argument. Yeah, I don't we're understand why disagree. we're disrespecting rap like you, that. You disrespecting you rap? Because I feel, rap I feel, every day. This is what every I feel week. like. I feel like Drake and Kanye West are bigger than rappers. They're bigger than rap because they do more with the actual music and, and with, with the actual musicality of rap. Drake sings. Drake raps. You know what I'm saying? Kanye produces a lot of the music. He's bringing a lot of people in to make these big ass tracks. He also happens to rap. He's been doing that for a very long time. Kanye West Quincy Jones out here. He's been doing that for a very Probably. long time. Similar. So his artistry is more than others. Okay. And, and that's that is, and that is why he's in the upper echelon of a musician to me. Absolutely. You're taking away from his ability to be a good musician. That's really weird to me. It's fine. Who had a better rap album than Kanye West? Others. Who has more classic albums? See, and here we, we can't answer. <laughs> this we he, no, listen, none of y'all, nobody asks anybody a question. Kanye West. I do. No, you don't. Kanye West has more answer. classic albums <laughs> in the past three weeks. Who dropped a better rap album? Well, okay, as in, in artist, <laughs> no, listen to me. See? No, because what? No, no, I, listen. I, I'll say it. You there's disagree. rap on Donda Donda. You just, yeah, you just agreed to as far as rapping. With me. It's a better rap album. There's rap on it. It's Drake a better and album. Kanye West are artists. That's are fair. the bars better? No. Oh, okay, that's all I care about is the bars. But is it rap on an album? Yes. Yes. I respect, is it here. better? Yes. I respect that. Is a musically is a better album. Yes. Who's rapping harder on their tape? Are there bars Drake. on there better than Drake's? Probably not. Drake. Mm-hmm. Not at all. No. Like no probably five years. Drake, Drake, five Drake is rapping some... harder. Yes. He does. That's, that's all I care. That's but one me, aspect of the okay. music. And so what you care about is artistry and creativity. What I care about is bars. What he okay. cares about is making sure. And if we want to talk. If we want to talk about. If we want to talk. And for me, and niggas aren't gonna like this. If we want to talk about like album like. Albums collectively, J. Cole for me, but we're gonna talk about bars, bars, bars. Then it's probably the La Maquina, the Conway the Machine for me personally. That's cool. But if we want to, that's cool. Who, what okay. what the internet has forced us to do is compare these two, and that's what we've been doing for two weeks now. Mm-hmm. There's a lot, but that's all I care is, about is how and niggas I think, are rapping. I think Deuce, and I think Drake Deuce is, made a great point last week. There's so many good rappers. There's so many great rappers that y'all don't give a fuck about. Man, that you don't give a fuck about. There's so many great R&B singers you don't give a fuck about. What we, why yeah. are you talking about that? Because it's the same thing. No, Damn. what I'm saying, no, what I'm There's, saying, no, no, no. What but I'm you saying don't give a fuck about them rap, either. What I'm saying is rap, rap is one part of the music. It's My one part, part of it. It's the part I care about the yeah, most. Yeah, niggas drop acapella albums, you're not listening to that shit. Just rapping. I listen to the Black Album acapella is fire. What? The Black Album acapella is fire. Really? That sounds terrible. The black black album beats are magnificent. They are, but he's still rapping. It will sound very empty without those beats. He's still it is, but he's rapping. Like, oh, you're spitting. You like Denzel Curry? Uh, Denzel no. Washington. It's a good rapper. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he is. And so is Ghostface Killer, nigga. I don't listen That's to That's the none point. Of these are these are supreme lyricists, but it doesn't matter because you don't so, like there's something about me you don't like, but the rap is there. It's just, it's like, that's the, music is subjective. It is. We be you, arguing about it. Like, you like, like answer what too. you like. Hey, we it's really, fine. we really find ways. There's nothing. Think I'm right. No, I'm right. No, I'm nothing. right. There there is is you like, you like for me. Not, for me, I think both of these albums are really good. I just think that when niggas, I think that niggas have there's like an extra 
level of like criticism that Drake gets. This is weird to me. I'm not well, criticizing Drake. A, he gets, it's, the, it's, the, it's the same effect of, because he gets gas. People feel the need to try yeah. to tear it down. Because I feel, too. I feel like because niggas thought it was correct. I feel like every album that comes out, I don't care who it is. Wale about to drop. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna ask niggas, how did you relate to it? Because that's how you, that's what you said about the Drake. And you know why? Why? Oh, you just answered. Never mind. You said it. Cool. Yeah. I'm gonna say. How did they, I'm gonna say how do you relate <laughs> to it? Niggas be like, I just like the Wale. Niggas are niggas are niggas are. You're not gonna you're not gonna care about. Why are you? But my you're, thing is, you're, you're my not thing gonna, is, thing is, gonna thing is, care about related to the Wale. You're not gonna care about how the Wale made you feel. I personally that's weird to me. Well, there's a lot of Wale music that makes me feel a particular way because it's Wale. I like him for a very long time. If we're comparing these albums, I feel more right. That's a real thing. I'm a little bit more emotionally attached to the Kanye album. That's not always fair because this gospel, bro. That's what gospel music is going to do to you. It's going to be more and and honestly, throughout Con- throughout Kanye's albums, any gospel album is going to do that. Throughout yeah. Kanye's albums, any good gospel album from College Dropout, some yeah. some, some, some yeah. bullshit. But from College Dropout to Registration to Graduation to 808s, you know what I'm saying? I feel more of what's happening on those projects. What is the emotion that? You but that's feel? a subjective part of it. You just relate to it, or you feel like you you. He said things that you related to over time that it means more. That's Jay Cole for me. I feel like that nigga. Yeah, Jay Cole. Yeah, Jay Cole has well. bars about my. Actual so that's life. A, so that's a that's a very that's a very fair. But there's somebody who hasn't lived your life that doesn't relate that way, so they're gonna feel different. Yeah, I under, I understand that. It's but all subjective, gotta, and, man. And, and read. You really it's start. It's all opinion. Yeah, the fact I just that you hate Reed because he don't even listen. Yeah, the fact that you don't put yay into the French line of musicians in this world is crazy to me. It's because he did the MAGA shit and you forgave him. You did. We'd never forgive nobody else. He will him. never get over that moment. Yeah. Because you don't fuck with that MAGA shit. And no, anybody else ass. would be dead to you. It's weird. Yeah. Well, it's not. Because he loves Kanye West. They moved the MAGA goalpost. Oh, they're lit. They're laughing. Yeah, they have a good time. We got to get good. out of here. Good. They're, good. Their <laughs> they're their second bottle. <laughs> second. <laughs> oh, God, baby. But um, like right, I let's said. Let's wrap this shit up. We, we got, this this <laughs> need to be this need to be the last time we do it. So we like gotta I said, stop doing this. It's no, always no, being no, based. No, we gonna not. we gonna do it. I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna keep asking and, this. How they feel? How does it make you feel? Yeah, and I'll say and I'll say this. I mean, you know, whatever. Because I never heard that before. I'm holding. So Leah dropped. They were releasing Leah's albums. So you know, what I'm saying. Man, that Leah was the red one came out, and we all know the red one's the fire. We're gonna wait uh, to do the top. It's actually not that good. No, the red one's the fire. It wasn't that good? It's the best yeah. album for it's sure. The best one, yeah. yeah. But she just now I care for you hitting the whip though. Yeah. Hey. I, I'm gonna say we were gonna do a top five. We're gonna wait because Free has a, a greatest hits album that comes out. Bro. I think the I think it's, wasn't it's the wrong. I think the bro. Romeo must die. It, it's uh, out too. It drops this week too. Listen, okay. for me and I, I'm be honest. We gonna need all of them. To do we're top literally five. waiting on Can I Come Over? It's my second favorite Aaliyah song. We're gonna need all of these projects to be able to do a top five because that's still feeling right. emotion. I, I'm I'm with her. What tweet? I I, I wonder by Yeah, got me some shit. Listen, yeah. When I hear, doom, 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 I be like. Uh, when, when the good morning hit, I'm mad. Because you felt uh, that. I'm oh, a, the, maybe we need to wait until the new Aaliyah joint come out. <laughs> what, they got posthumous? <laughs> yeah, unstoppable. I want to give... So have everybody on. I don't want that. You're not supposed to feel music? Why are you doing this? We were done. We were getting over this. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm, I'm, what I'm listen, saying is... Y'all gonna, y'all, listen, this, this is Big Big Sean's just nigga to me, but y'all no, don't care yeah. at all. They're, no, they're... Big Sean so, says shit that I fuck with when all you, the time. I respect the I don't feel care. music because... And I, and I call it a, a almost a natural high. When I hear "Sunroof" by Boogie, I get a natural high. I get taken to another level, like like just not some regular Snake shit. Star yeah. body rolling. And there are, <laughs> but what? I'm, yeah, but and so for and for for so for me, a lot of time it's more so in the individual songs. If I start a name, and there are albums that do that too. Lupe Fiasco's you the don't cool. That. But yeah, we're not good. talking about no albums that good. None of these albums they that came out this year are that good. True. Right. So. Um, but, you, but you try to take away the argument that Don, I feel Don more. You don't like that argument versus the CLB. No, you you do. But when I ask you what do you feel, you don't have an answer for me. You, you say I feel it. Be yeah, I, it, it resonates with me more. You feel me? I think about my family more. Listen to that. Nigga, I don't know. I think about my family more when it's when it's raining and it's a okay. somber day. I don't know. Exactly. I, don't, okay. but I, I, think, say, somebody, I get it. But as, as somebody who lost somebody around the time Donna came out, don't listen to Donna. Right, it's bad for you, bro. It puts you in a place. Yeah, it's gonna take. You there, yeah. There are songs. There are songs that I don't need to listen to because it's gonna take me to a bad place. But I feel you. But it's like when it. Yeah, I mean, it's but just, it's, it's then we okay need to, to apply that to everything, and so you need to have an answer every time for me because that's the end all be all. That's who he is. That's who he is. Yeah. And it's because yeah. for, for you, that was the end all be all. It doesn't make me feel anything, it's, so well, I don't yeah, fuck the, with it. The, that was I, weird to me. No, nah, so he I was against I the wall, brother. The, Why are you holding against that? King Glock's albums don't make me. 
feel no emotions. Like, wait, they just sound good in the car. That's me. you. That's to you. To and you. I don't listen to Key Glock. I think to he sucks. You. You're missing out. He doesn't. Stop. To you. We got to move on. We got to move on. Uh, we got to move on. I don't, hey, I don't when, think he's a good When I come over by Leah. When does yours come out? October? It's October 10th, I think. Okay, October 10th. Can we got I top five on Leah for you. We're going to struggle. I, I'm asking my sisters stop. for her. We're going to struggle. Hey, we're going to struggle. To see you. Hey. Yeah, but when you hear Russian that, cr- when you hear Russian cream, it's gonna hit. Stop. I don't, I don't know that tune, but I'm sure it's great. I got big rocks yeah. jumping a, out oh, my brand new pad. You might have went crazy. Stop. We're gonna hear that shit. Oh, in, we'll hear that shit in Memphis. It's gonna be he crazy. Snapped. I'll let you know now. He went Kyrie on these. Uh, that's all I got this week. He guys. Went Kyrie. That's my mo better. Uh, Definitely Freddie the Gibbs, better. like may or may not have this Kendrick Lamar in the champagne freestyle. Okay, he he's a good enough rapper to do it, in my huh? opinion. He talked about a lot of shit. Yeah. He's a good enough. Hey, he's a good enough rapper to take a shot in my opinion. I love not, big, not big, but good. Not yeah. saying that not I'm, big, I'm, I'm not a GD or a Vice Lord, but I love the GD and Vice Lord line and thing. the Freddie Gibbs Vice Lord portrait. The GD is at the dope, but the Freddie Vice Lord is one of my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he? And I, I think does Freddie Gibbs have the Indiana tax for you? Nah, niggas don't care about Gary. I feel like I'm like, damn, he's from Indiana. I give a, I give a. Well, he's hard. He's a really good rapper. He's hard, but he definitely got another notch up for me. Yeah, I think he's hard. For me, Michael no, Jackson, no, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. Michael Jackson get a nod. Michael Jackson from Indiana, bitch. Michael Jackson could have been from fucking Toledo, nigga. But he was gonna be my nigga from the gym. Right. Next, you out loud. Next, no, next, no. next, next, we next, 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 next. You need to start putting Kanye West up there with Michael Jackson. Facts. Okay. I think Dre said he actually is Michael Jackson, and that's man. that's cap. It is. <laughs> maybe not. Unless he fucks with boys. This cap. Or maybe every album he dropped, niggas go crazy over, just like Michael. That's. I think it was more. I don't think it was Relax. as deep as you're thinking. It was more. Um, like, just, for, just for reference, just for reference, because <laughs> uh, you want to do this, you want to do it so bad. Michael Jackson's been making music since the '60s, and he's not, he's not Mr. Generation yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure he missed the 2020s. No, 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 no. Every mm, no, these niggas they don't even listen to Billy Jean. So right. he said, he's, I thought I heard making music. No, no. <laughs> sorry, he's been making sorry, music sorry, 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 for a while. Uh, he started making <laughs> making music on 50 years he ago. Missed the 2010s too. Like, like your children, he missed are going to listen to Michael Jackson long before they hear Kanye West. Say it again. <laughs> I've already showed I've guys. already showed my daughter the way. That's, that's not true. <laughs> I've already I've already showed her the way. So. That's what not lyric, true. Do what, but don't you have her believe? Don't played, you have her believing that Kanye is better than Michael Jackson? He will. No, I won't do that. But he's not here with him. Why not? I want you to have her believe that, bro. We were talking about the greatest artists of our generation. Y'all need to can stop I tell you, doing can this. I say it's something, getting weird. Can I tell yes? you something? Okay. Can okay. I tell you something real quick? When um everybody that I know on a personal level, they can tell me exactly where they were when Michael Jackson died. The greatest a lot, a lot of people I know, if Kanye West died, a lot of people could tell me, not everybody. That's Listen. not true. <laughs> Lord, no, 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 wait, God, wait. God forbid it happens, wait, but that's not true. Wait, wait. wait. My mother, the world my mother is mother going man. to weep. Listen, uh, just for, I'm a, no, yes, nigga, I'm going to be sad. Lord, just for reference. Lord, just for reference. The greatest artist of a generation versus the greatest artist of all time. There is a difference, and we need to Yeah, need okay, to, but he's still up there at all. He's still there. He's still in the conversation. It's not a conversation. Okay. It's not a conversation. It's just not. But if there's Michael a poster, he's up there. It is weird. All right, I'm going to say this, we're going to wrap it up. You it's have right. to respect the fact that, yes, this is of all time, but there are people who, even with, through Mike's all time, there's people who have way more knowledge about Kanye than Mike because he's just older. Fair. I can name you front to back Kanye albums. I can't name you front to back Mike albums. Yeah, but there's, but there's but niggas there's, there's who can name can't, you front to back Michael who can't they, name you front Exactly. Like but the, he's talking to niggas. Who can do the other? Very fair. You're right. Very fair. But when you so you have it, to understand, niggas aren't gonna feel that way. And, you have, a, they have to be right. talked into. At a certain point, at a certain point, we gotta dig into the numbers. And Michael's numbers hit points. That Them Kanye, shits don't even. Yeah, yeah. They will never. And these is real. I bought the album. Numbers. We know who run the numbers, and right. niggas don't want me to say the name. But. Eminem. but <laughs> <laughs> Michael's <laughs> numbers are <laughs> nearly <laughs> nobody will touch them. <laughs> nobody Dendrick. will do it. <laughs> Still, okay. all can't be done. Yeah. Talking but about. I, and I've never <laughs> said Kanye Salute wasn't Nelly. one of the greatest artists of generation. I've never said yeah. that. Hey, you be putting honestly, him up here with Mike, and I'd be like, no. None of these niggas went diamond. Fuck them niggas. Yeah. Nelly went diamond. Nelly went diamond. How about that? How'd that make <laughs> niggas feel? <Yeah. laughs> but as I was shiny. Saying, of a generation of all time, we have to move on. Kanye West is to be yeah. respected. I don't disrespect him. You go a little too far. Michael Jackson. Sometimes. Michael Jackson also, and here's, check this out. Michael Jackson and niggas love evolution. 
New Jack Swing came back in the nineties. Michael Jackson called Teddy Riley. <laughs> Teddy Riley made him a class. I got to remember. That's a, <laughs> oh, sorry. Wow. Listen, Thriller and Remember the Time are ten years apart. It's crazy. Damn, it was New Jack Swing, wasn't it's, it's it? It's crazy. Yeah. Thriller came out in the seventies. I thought Thriller came out in eighty three. 82. Damn, Bad came out in the 80s too. I, I thought Bad came out in the 80s. Because, because from 1979, 1989, Michael Damn. made four of the greatest albums ever. That's in, crazy. In a 10 year span. He we're did. not going to do this. No one wow. nigga did. We're not going we're wow. not going to do this. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, we're not not, four not four great two. albums for the greatest kind albums. Of, kind of made a five piece kind of got a, uh, yeah, got you <laughs> out. Ever. Got you I don't, out. I don't I don't I know. Not I, not four greats for the greatest of just oh my I just, god. I feel like the way you I feel like the way you argue he you, made you downplay everybody else. And it's weird. That's what you think I'm doing. No, you do. I'm just, nah, stay, you do I'm just giving you facts. You do though. that. You, you willing to step on a nigga to get to your or a woman? You willing to step on a woman? Nah, here we, and go. we know what we're talking about. We're not going to that. We got to move on. I've talked to move on three here times. Here we go. Next. Move on. Uh, next. We're done. We ain't got to do what you uh, watching. Like the world ain't no what you watching. We ain't watch nothing. Yeah, like Grownish. We haven't talked about Grownish. Oh, we just talked about Grownish. Talk about Grownish. So I watched the past three episodes of Grownish. I had to catch up. Lala had her fucked up. She did, and her ex boyfriend had her fucked up too because he didn't. My wife and I got into a deep argument. God. She felt like Aaron was trying to control Zoe. Her argument was, they're all cool, and he's trying to control her. I said, yes, they've been cool, but Aaron and, and Luke have never been cool. And never. we just had beef. Yeah, they've been like, cool. They're part of the same Last friend group. Week, yes. They're frenemies. Yes, we, we, we just had beef. I walk into the party. I see you talking to him. I'm a little agitated because we just had beef. You got on me for talking to him, but okay, no big deal. When you come tell me that make you feel good, Chief. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> when you come yeah. tell me, hey, I just went and went to bat for you again. And you did. To, but I, I didn't get to tell you because before I could tell you, you told me he's gonna let me run his company. Well, of course, the nigga that's in love with you is gonna give you anything he can right, to, to make you, you want him to keep you around. I'm sorry, it's not yeah. okay. Why his girl across the world. I'm so sorry. They got rid and of her quick. She at least should have said. Was there- and this is my opinion. <laughs> women, there are some women that would disagree. That, I appreciate the offer. I need to talk to my guy. Y'all don't have the best relationship right now. Is that appropriate for me? I need to check and see. And when she went and talked to him, I mean, at the end of the day, she would have had to take that opportunity if nothing else came because she doesn't yeah. have to get her, her degree. Right. But she would have found out that you don't even got to work for him. Yep. Yeah. You're and, good. And what's crazy is had Aaron accepted something from old girl, <sighs> she'd have been shit. And, and I, I said that, and my wife's response was, but they're not all friends. Doesn't matter if you don't like somebody I'm dealing with, and we're in a real relationship. I gotta, yeah. I gotta look at it at least from a different lens. It always depends upon how serious you take your relationship. If yep. she cares yeah. about her relationship, with Aaron at all, she would have stopped the thought. Yeah. thought. She, but they don't get it twisted. They Zoe the character is built to be selfish. Absolutely, it's how the, it's how all the Absolutely. plots are dr- from, written. Everything from, she does from, is about her. Ever since Blackish, yeah. that's what she's. So she's always gonna move selfishly. It's like, also, it's like ghosts. Also, right. Anna has fucked two of the homies. She's wild. Hey, they've been building. Shout that out, out for to weeks. Vivek. Yeah. Hey, Vivek came through. We knocked the A. Got to. She been one of. It's been. They've been teasing it. Yeah, for um, a while. One thing. Oh, so so so. A few weeks, three, four episodes back, the track dude told Dez. told Jazz he was gay, yep. queer. He he said he, I came, he said I came out. So Correct. she thought he was gay, which duh. Yeah. I'm sorry. And so then she saw. He said, "No, I'm queer. I still fuck with girls." Which is and so she was like, "I'm cool. And go out. With, I'm gonna go out with you." Weird. She was I, feeling. I personally don't know where any women like that. She was Zero. feeling him. Not the uh, melanated ones. No. She was feeling him. And then he came with a dress, and she was like, "Oh, I'm cool." Mm-hmm. Yeah. But Doug moving on like he should, mm-hmm. kissing his young bitch. <laughs> All yeah. right. That made her want to go fuck a nigga in a dress. Hey, that's it was weird. weird to that's me. Weird. That's weird. weird. Why are you being weird to me? You gonna fuck a nigga in a dress just because you mad at Doug? Why are you, you being weird to anything? me? And it's weird because she clearly didn't want this brother, and she saw Doug moving on like, well, I gotta get something. Niggas do that. Not that. Well, people not do that. that. We don't have that option that quick. <laughs> not not <laughs> niggas, uh, but yeah. women will do that. I'm it's sure. dangerous. Slippery slope. Yeah. You don't want to slip. Yeah, you don't fuck a nigga you don't really like to get a. The nigga don't know you're getting at him. But Doug, Doug's gonna be like, you fucking nigga in a dress. Yeah. <laughs> Doug's gonna <laughs> toss. Him, toss. He gonna he fucking toss. Yeah. Gay. You fucking, I'm like, fucking <laughs> toss. Relax, nice, brother. Yeah, my bad. Pull it back. Man, he's gonna tell his niggas up. about that. Him and Eric gonna throw their heads back in the Yeah, it's. Um, it's not as good as it 
usually I think do. it's doing a good job. It's doing, they're, they're trying to it's wrap it up. It's storylines. It's doing it. Uh, yeah, I've been I, you know what? Even though, even though I hate Nomi, it was cool. She bumped her baby daddy. Sorry. Oh, he was just in the city like, chilling. What's up? He's just, in the, he's just in the city chilling. Like, when she yeah. ain't heard from this nigga for... Like, no, she didn't want to. He tried. COVID. No, he tried. She tried to hit him up. He didn't answer. When? She, he didn't know he had a daughter. Right. When she told him, he was like... He ghosted her. No, she, he didn't. Yes, he did. He did. He I'm misremembering this. Yeah. They, went, they went and met. And he told her. No. But she told they, him. No, they went they and met. She told him, and he never talked to her after that. Uh, they met up again for the first time. It's like so She was like, you have a daughter. Right. And nigga was like... Okay, I remember bye. him reacting that way. Go check, go check it out. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, it's, been, me, I promise. it's been pretty good. Know. So it's it's got, I think that we want it to be the final season. Is it really going to be the final I don't think season? it should be. I think there's more they can do here. I I'm mean, watch it regardless. Young young married niggas. I mean. Grad I'm, school's real. Fifth years are real. Fifth years are real. Somebody's got to get grad married. School. Uh, For sure. And honestly. I'm doing five. Scott's got to come back. Hey. They I'm, can't, the, I'm doing fives a classic. Hey, Thanks, can't man. believe I'm doing five. I was a man. I was Woo! like, oh, these niggas make music. Yeah, I was doing straining, five. straining the fuck out of my voice. Trying um, to Sky got to come back. They can't wrap the show up without Sky. The Olympics is over. It's got to be over. But but Little Mermaid ain't. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. It's, and it's not till uh, 2023. God, dog. Which is crazy. Yeah. So we got a minute uh, for that. Uh, we, we'll have a canon wrap up next week. We'll know if season finale or not. We There's no 10 idea. episodes. 10 episodes. Cool. So we, we, got got two more, we got two more oh, episodes. So this one. The last, even, no, the last one was six or seven. That's one was seven. seven. We got, we got three, three episodes. Weeks. We ain't even got to. So Nine really coming with the heat. So, yeah, Nine. The, the, it's called Pent Ultimate. Yeah. One before the end. It's going to be. Lulu heat. was on a Breakfast Club. He said his favorite episodes are two, two, eight, and ten. So apparently Ace Fire, too. That's yeah. tonight. That's tonight. That's tonight. It's, actually, it's out it's now. It's out right now. Watch it when I get home. Two's when he shot Buddy, right? Maybe two or three, two or three. One, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. It should be, uh, man. It's yeah. But uh, anything else we've been watching? Uh-huh. We're not gonna talk about it, Big no, Brother. No, 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 uh, no, real quick, Big Brother. No, Every, everybody left in the house is black. Next, yeah, championship. Man, we did it. Reparations, right. reparations, reparations. Um, put some respect on my name. Put some respect on my name. Yeah. Uh, what we do in the shadows, man? If you were into quirky, funny, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been looking for that. Hey man, I've been Hulu watching FX. clickbait. It is int- it's strange. Is it good? I've been meaning to watch. Heard it was all over the place. Clickbait's cool. I've been uh, I've been watching. But it's been uh, funny. What are we doing the show? Very, been funny. The niggas watch American Crime Story. OJ Simpson. They doing the yes. Bill Clinton. One. They got one out with Bill about the Bill Clinton piece. I'll be on it because I, 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 it's probably that's here. still the best TV I've seen. In a, network in television time. I've seen absolutely, absolutely last five years. It was the, unbelievable. And, the, and that's not like FX type television. That's can't go past PG thirteen yeah, on network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was really good. So I'm, I've been. How uh, was FX? Huh? That was on FX that they FX. made that. FX, they never showed titties on FX. It, no, nah, but the, not in the. But the OJ, OJ was on FX. It was on FX. Was it? Yeah. yeah. Oh damn, bro. Either FX or USA. No, it was FX. It was FX. Yeah. It was FX. FX has great some television. of the best TV I've of all time. TV. Yeah. I've been, I'm also I, I think very, about to run back the Shield, which is apparently. A I'm also classic. very intrigued by the OJ series. Yeah, y'all know I think OJ watch can do the it. Strain. Strain. That was on my. I heard it ended too early. I hate shows to end like that. They did a good job of wrapping it up. Okay, without going too long. Because I've heard things. I heard good things. The Strain was one of me least favorite shows. Uh, damn, I'm gonna check it out. Uh, Are we live? All right, cool. So I ain't gonna cuss. Put some respect in my name. Put some respect in my name. Put some respect in my name. There's no way we can. There's no way we can duplicate this. Crack is whack. Uh, so next. Oh man. Damn, uh, Michael K. Williams, man. May he uh, rest in peace. Star of the Wire, man. Star of Love, Care of Country. He, Fenty uh, Pack. He, <sighs> Put the drugs down. He died last week, it's man. It's tough. So, and what I'm hearing is... Fentanyl going around. So, <clears throat> and maybe it was, it was a misunderstanding on my part. So, I assume... I thought people were actually doing fentanyl nah. recreationally. No, just, and I've been trying to find the picture. On it. There's a picture of these three drugs. The amount of fentanyl that can kill you is so... It's minuscule. Nigga, it's like grains of salt. Yeah. Nigga, it's but people bad. are stepping on drugs with yeah. fentanyl. And it's they've killing been people. stepping on coke with fentanyl for years. Recently, they've been st- stepping on the weed with it. I don't want to. And that's weird to me. It's weird. Why are you being weird to me? Yes, yeah, it's, it's strange, man. But yeah, apparently, man, the, the Fenty was in the. But uh, I don't know. But in, in retrospect, I don't know if. We don't know how he died. They had no, they, no, they released this. No, nah, it was drug oh, they, related. They did. Yeah, hair. Oh, I missed that. It was he was hair. Um, it was hair was on the table or something like that. But speaking, but that came out. Be uh, careful. Make sure you know. Fact check. Fact check. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't see it. So no. So I, he I was on it. that boy. 
That's what I'm saying. You can't just be saying here. No, that boy, that boy leave you null and void. Because it could have been coke. We know that. Could have yeah, been coke. It could have been coke. We know what anything. that boy do. And niggas party. Yeah, niggas sniff coke. Uh, apparently, uh, and then 50 Cent did some wild shit. 50 Cent's a wild He's nigga. He's like, look, we seen that that shit been stepped on. Yeah. He deleted that post, but still mm. made another one. But apparently. They were beefing. That's when his ops. When you beef with 50, you beef forever. Yeah, and 50 never switched never it up. Stopped. So I respect him for that. It was wild. But How were they beefing? And then. Some shit about uh, Supreme McGriffin. Or McGriffin. Yeah, Jimmy Henchman and shit. Yeah. I posted a comment. I said, yeah, this is fucked up, but a nigga's going to stop watching his shows. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That's how I know what happened. Because we don't have with 50 beef with niggas. It's till, till death, the, till do, us death do us part. Till death do us part, bro. I don't yeah. hate you. Um, apparent, but it was, I think a lot of niggas said it was weird because I guess uh, Tasha Smith, from the Tyler Perry movie, okay. she fucked with Michael K. Williams, and mm-hmm. she's in the BMF. Shit. My apologies, wow. my apologies. It, it hasn't been confirmed, but there are reports. No, there was drugs reports. at the at, at their scene. No, it's the, what kind of drug? Fair yeah. enough. Yeah, I don't know if it was that wrong. They're saying it may have overdosed on fentanyl. Yeah, but they. I, uh, I heard fentanyl. I didn't hear heroin. But they they showed a lot of love, man. There's a really good video. Of, man, I can't remember the actor's name, but he plays Bunky on the wire. Yeah, Window got, something. Yeah, Window. He got a real. Fire video of him uh, giving him giving, his flowers. It's got a fire, flower. man. Yes, yeah, it's, it's very good, man. But like I said, he's played iconic character. Omar's an iconic character to me. Iconic character to me. I don't know how other niggas feel. Um, Omar, I fucked with Omar. I didn't think I was an after the fact wire nigga, and I, some of them characters that got built up weren't what I thought yeah, they were. And then a lot of and a lot of niggas hate McNulty, but that's funny. Marlo's a bitch. I fucked with McNulty. McNulty was a real. Honestly, the, 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 the realest nigga was Chris and Snoop. Oh, Snoop! Snoop's yeah. an iconic character. Chris and Snoop. Only she could do what she did. Somebody, Avon, just, Avon. somebody just had a bar creeping over your block like Snoop. Who was that? I don't know. So it's a recent rap song. Avon was a dumbass. I fucked the stringer. Niggas hated stringer. People don't hate stringer, stringer like that. Stringer had the big. When niggas think of Avon was in the box, stringer was. Yeah, trying to get around that bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Marlo wasn't really who I thought this nigga was. Chris and Snoop. Ruthless. Killers. Yeah. Chris and Snoop. Yeah. We know I fucked with. I fucked the bunk. The cops, not I didn't really fuck too many of them cops. I fuck with the old nigga. Omar was cool, but he went out like a sucker. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like it. Yeah, and he was just, yeah. The Omar, I, I, like I said, I fuck with Omar. I fuck with a lot. I fuck with what's, no, I fuck with what's Mike my nigga me? that died in the first season? I fuck with Mike Heavy, little Mike. Yeah, little I'm Mike a head look Mike. My yeah. nigga uh, Omar's look cousin. That was my nigga. They killed him though. Omar's cousin. Omar's cousin. Omar's cousin. Yes, they killed him in the first season. The bald head nigga. That was my nigga. Oh, but, the, at the bar. No, his cousin, he was on the block in the in the projects. He I got ran the little crew I, I with the little wire up middle oh, of the no, no, no. You mean Avon's cousin? Yeah, that's yeah, what I mean. yeah, not yeah. Cousin. Yes. Avon, Avon's cousin. Yeah, they did that. That's my nigga. They killed put him. Put him in a pen. Yeah. Yeah. And then propped him up. Yeah. Like killed himself. Fucked up. But Wire still one of the top five shows ever. Great show. I enjoyed um, it. But you got right. um man, oh, so CBS, <laughs> this is some wild shit. CBS mm. announced a competition show about activists. The competitor's success will be measured by online engagement, social metrics, and input from the show's celebrity hosts, Usher, Priyanka Chopra, and Julianne Hugh. Man, why are y'all doing this? Because this what niggas do. The activists will feature six activists, activists from around the world competing against each other in missions, media stunts, digital I'm... campaigns, and community events to promote health, educational, and environmental, oh, environmental causes. Uh, What about uh systematic racism? Systemic racism. Too, t- too hot to touch. Yeah. There's their success is, is is measured by online engagement. Like I said, a lot of people are upset. Real, act, obviously, if I'm an activist who got it out the mud, yeah, mm-hmm. man, why you y'all making you're not about this, to put nobody on the show? Because they didn't put you on the show. District Twelve shit. It could be that too. Yeah, if you're an activist, you mad because they didn't put you on the show. Yep, this yeah, is bullshit. But honestly, what's it gonna make real TV? Niggas got to put Duray and Shaki on that bitch <laughs> to make it for real, to make it interesting. <laughs> Duray, Sean now. King, uh, Duray will be in that motherfucker snapping his from, fingers. Uh, uh, she, she Mallory, fire speech. Mallory name. Yeah, the Black Lives Matter chick that just got the million dollar mansion. Yeah, they need to be on there. Let's um, get it. With one reality like TV, RS1, her too. We like drama. I want to see some drama. That's why we watch reality it's, TV. It's it's just a, it's a strange. But I can see how concept, I can see how, how I've been on the ground really doing this shit. I can be upset at the, yeah, them I've trying been, to put it on TV. I'm getting out the mud, man. I'm an underground king. Yeah, niggas love underground rappers, but <laughs> they don't ever they don't always make it out. Why don't they? A lot of some niggas uh 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 nope. Next. Uh, I'm saying next. Some, when they do, niggas don't like the underground shit no more. Mm. I think Freddie Gibbs suffers from that. I think they, nobody wants to elevate him because he came from so far behind. Yeah, he's one of the better rappers. And some and there's some niggas who are like underground rappers like uh what's the nigga that's on Wild Out now? Freddie said he was 
he was selling dope when Kanye West worked at River Oaks. And you know what I'm saying? I felt that. Yeah, I did. That's the time you really live. You were alive. It's well, a fire bar. River Oaks. There, but there's like because something. Where is River Oaks? Calumet City. That's tight. Yeah. Aha. <laughs> That's the only thing niggas got up there. <laughs> Snacks in. Aha. <laughs> but um, Respect a lot of the niggas don't, niggas don't want their niggas. Kanye was folding khakis up in my mall, nigga. But you can say that about a lot of rappers. Like when Dom Kennedy was like underground low key, then he blew up. <laughs> niggas was like, boo. So it's just niggas don't want their niggas to be mainstream. I get it. But niggas got to do what they got to do for themselves. You boo boo. You T turned down, but that's uh, that's it for me, man. We can, we can move along. I just you think boo-boo. that the, it's a weird shit to make activism a reality. Sh- you can, uh, but a lot of people say, it's Why would you make love with, a reality show? You know what I mean? So you never know. It's just these, these networks gonna get their money, yeah, every time. Oppression is real out here, though. Real fucked up shit is happening, yeah, it's not changing, and that's an issue. Next. Hand down, boom. Clint Waters still look like Mucho Mango. Bang, 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 bang. Mama, bang. there goes that man, man, bang. Start off with the real nigga. Tell him what he did tonight. Oh, Cristiano? Uh, no. Cam Newton? The NBA Hall of Fame uh, was, <laughs> was oh, tell these was niggas. trying today. You're not real. You, you paper, you didn't go. <laughs> Uh, I you know what it popped up on me. It did. I, I thought I did He's not know it was know. coming up. What I I knew, um, but I thought it was next year. Ben Wallace, <coughs> Chris Weber, Chris Bosh, and NBA champion Paul Pierce. Finals, MV, Finals MVP. Finals MVP. Ten time All Star. Ten time All Star. Four time All NBA. Nigga. Jersey retirement. Celtic. Top ten Celtic of all time, nigga. Uh, got in the Hall of Fame tonight. Congrats to those guys, man. Uh, a lot. All those guys. Uh, Chris, Chris Chris Weber's not a champion. Nope. But uh, Bill, Russell, you know, it's, it's, Bill Russell got in for the second time. He should have uh, for being a coach. Chris Webber's a guy that we're really hard on, but he could play basketball. Uh, That's one of the more iconic college careers, too. Yeah, yeah. he was really Except good for at that one where he, oh, <laughs> where he yeah. disappeared for one of the greatest he was, a, of all time. he was a kid, which he is was. a fair. He was, he was, child. Child. He was like he was 19. Maybe. 18. 19. Yeah. Shout out to Black Sox second with year. Nike kicks, though. Yep. Iconic. Um, Sorry, uh, raise your hand supposed to be this week, but. We're recording on Saturday nights when I have raised your hand. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's going to raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> you can probably, probably book his uh, What we got, do we have. The Cardinals. They should probably, they should probably Oh, they're win. boo-boo. Uh, what's that? Their quarterback. Who's their quarterback? Kyler. Kyler, Kyler Murray. Murray. What we do have was uh, open night in the NFL. And honestly, you never know what you're going to get because the preseason's weird now. And nobody plays football. Uh, Cowboys and Bucks. Game was good. Had a Shout game. to the boys, was awesome man. Awesome football game, It was a good man. game. I thought that um, Ezekiel uh, Elliott kind of came up short. Well, they they, they made sure they They gave 11 carries. They play. Uh, and they're missing Zach Martin, their old lineman, but uh the the headlines of the game were the quarterbacks. That yeah. Prescott obviously hadn't played in a year. Went crazy bounce back. Took a, they took a gamble on himself and yeah, he showed, he, showed he, can, he showed he can still do it. He's I fine. I think that's cool. He's getting he got week one MVP buzz. So that's cool. He had a couple glitches, but they didn't did. backfire. What's the nigga that that popped off for C D Lamb? Two snaps. Yep. C D Lamb. Popped uh, off. He's, on he's supposed to be this good. Sidereal. Uh on the other side, uh Tom Brady. Who's becoming America's favorite uh, old quarterback? That's it's, not true. Yes, it is. He's, it's, 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 he's a, who's our favorite old the, quarterback? Oh, people, we don't we don't hate him anymore. But it's not like Aaron Rodgers right now. Uh, the, the who's the people, old quarterbacks? And we all know, Aaron we all Rogers. know on this show, especially as he was as a Patriot, there's not a more hated person. The fiery hate for Tom Brady is subsided is, for me. Is this Quenched, gone? Yeah. Uh, you starting to appreciate him? It helped that he was so loose at the Super Bowl. Out there, is wasted throwing trophies around, but. We're at a point now where you're watching Tom Brady. It's like, wait a minute, who? Why? And they still how still, still doing this? How? Why? Tom Brady how? came in the league in 2000. Oh no, 99. 20 years. Um, this is 22nd year. He's 44 years old. So and he looks like yeah. a top five quarterback in the NFL. And he's and it's wild because it's like, what the yep. hell, nigga? Steve, uh, we all saw the Steve from Blues Clues video. Yep. Oh, Tom man, can was, make one too. Yeah, Tom um, can pop up too. Hey. Hey, How you guys doing? A lot has changed in your life, right? Some you championships. Good. Remember that time I deflated those footballs? We've been You're doing, doing it. Well. Yeah, look, Remember the time we was recording on the other team's practice? It's, that's on Bill Belichick. That's all that stuff. It's crazy. I mean, this, this should give you Remember a good look. Remember time Deion Brent helped me get a championship? Honestly, let's talk about it. This should give you a good look of what happens in sports. Niggas, I want to say We are, and even me, I'm hard on Kevin Durant and... When shit but not after, Tom Brady because that's your nigga's weird. No, can you, can you, if you could just relax, you'd hear my point. It'd be awesome. <laughs> Don't hit me. Um, that big hand came over here. After like, years go by, nobody remembers the details. I'm not forgetting. It's, what did you do? 
I'm not forgetting. He's gonna talk about the Kevin Durant that, worship. But no, I'm not anybody gonna care forget. about them deflated balls anymore? Nobody gives a shit. No. Nobody, Nobody cares. cares about them filming the Jets practice. Nobody cares. The Jets will never gonna win it. Well, that's because the balls were aired up in Atlanta. Nobody can. And they were. They were. But you can do enough for people to forget you're bad and just start celebrating your good. Kevin can't. And Kevin uh, he can. could. Kevin gonna be 45. But that nigga was a monster. We couldn't stop him. That's what it's gonna be. Yeah. Talk about it now because you won't be able to. Paul yeah. Pierce. That's you're gonna miss, to say about you're him. Gonna miss the I thought he was a hater. Uh, even <laughs> Chris Webber, nigga. who niggas historically hate for snitching, got in the Hall of Fame tonight, and it was good to see. Because you give it enough time, we all be like, ah, whatever, nigga. You saw what I just did to George Bush today. Now, that's a whole I'll different forget. story. Yeah, you're right. That's a whole different yeah. nigga. We're talking Kevin about sports. Durant's is a real nigga. We're talking about sports. Without a haircut. I don't forget. But uh, what's up, Lloyd? Uh, man, I just want to talk about Cristiano Ronaldo. But it's let coming. Me know it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. So, yeah. Uh, Raise your hand. will be back. We'll probably, hopefully, we'll get it. We'll hopefully, I'll raise, hopefully shout, I'll raise my hand. Shout uh, my nigga, I'm going to talk uh, to y'all. We might just my, be a week off. Shout out to my But He had an interview with his father. Breaking down yeah, what happened. Hey man, he's a very. Who? I felt. And I fuck, Cam Newton. Cam. I fuck what he uh, said. Um, one of my favorite parts of it. He said, you know, he said I. He said I could have been. That's problematic. My man's can't have free forming dreads. He said, oh, he's eccentric. Oh, it's interesting. Yeah. Is that eccentric? Jay Z has him. He had him come out of his hat, Deuce. Where else would you put him? <laughs> Well, yeah, I, don't, I don't know what the. I think his hair. Is, he has the hair. I don't know what they're getting that. Yeah. Where, else, where else did they Something go? Coming up, he cut a hole in his hat. Where else did they go? <laughs> it was hat, interesting. Hat, my hat got a hole in it. I don't know. What's the problem? Yeah, that was weird. very weird. Hey, weird. hey, hey, hey. But uh, I think the best part of that camera interview was. Where you go to Cristiano? That was strange. Don't act like you really wanted to ride with Cam because you didn't want to ride with him when he wasn't Patriot two weeks ago. I don't know who I'm sure. Cam knew my nigga. Don't ever, don't ever question so that. So why you act like you want to be on our yeah. team? This Are you nigga, a Bucks fan? No. Shut There's up. Different hats. What's that the point? <laughs> yeah. But um, he he basically weird. said he's like he's like I could have been the backup, but my aura was gonna be so big, like mm-hmm. it was. He wasn't gonna be able to handle it. They weren't gonna be able to handle it. Was it was a conversation that. every weekend. He was on the bench. He also said they didn't offer it either. They didn't. I don't think they wanted. And I said that last week. It's he's polarizing, and if you're gonna get his quarterback to chat, we don't need a nigga sitting over his back line. Yeah. You know how you get to look. Yeah, he throwing them picks like that. Like, yeah. You don't need that on the bench. Hey, that, that right side was wide open. Hey, hey, hey. you need Brian Hoyer next to him. A nigga don't want to get hit at all. Yep, his helmet don't even come out to the yeah. field. It's, and when you and, we're, helmet, and we're young and we're know. a rookie, you know your blood is boiling. Mac hey. Jones ready to get out there. Yeah. I can see Cam now doing the. Yeah, <laughs> he got a he got a raw deal and he, he got a raw deal from the organization. You expect the raw because deal you know from. you know what's gonna happen when Mac Jones fucks up. They're gonna put that camera on. Boom. Yeah. See what his face look like. Out the yeah. gate. Yeah. For sure. Every time. I don't see my niggas. He's throwing touchdown. And look, see, you didn't need to this, this. this. But do you think it's over for good? I don't think it has to be over. I don't know what he'll do this year. Though. Honestly, but, I'm not going to lie. Cam is strategic. He's smart. He could be the You have to say out loud, I'll be a backup because it's a picture. <laughs> yeah. I'll bring him. If, if, but if, he if, also said, at this point, you got to make it sound good to me. So he don't think he's that smart. <sighs> So, I can't yeah, don't do because, that because Listen. at this point you're Dennis Schroeder because yeah. they will let you back, be my boy. Hey, hey they will let you be David Garrard and be everybody's yeah, coach fuck. teacher yeah. that's a paycheck yeah. for years mm-hmm. Charlie Batch one of the greatest quarterbacks ever you know why he stayed on the sideline for extra 12 years being a backup mm-hmm. holding a hat hey nigga you gotta throw that with a little more uh, you know I yeah. used to do it that's a good paycheck <laughs> hey Hey, hyping niggas Bro, up when they have a fucked up backup play. Backup quarterback on, is the best nigga. job in the world. You have to be a backup. You know who the best backup quarterback ever is? Jim Sorge. Nope, nigga. it's it's Charlie Batch. Well, Jim Sorge. It's Charlie Batch. I respect. It's Kurt Warner. Ben Roethlisberger's backup. No, Kurt, no, I'm talking about a nigga that really was just a backup. Charlie, and wasn't Charlie Batch is Ben Roethlisberger's yeah. backup, right? He was Charlie uh, Batch in Detroit for a little. He was bit. he was Detroit starter. He was in Steelers. He, he was, though. He yeah, was, he was. He was a lot of places always standing there like you could do that better. No, the best backup is Ryan Fitzpatrick. Yep. Shout no, I'm talking about Jim Sorge, one of my favorite commentators. So, right I don't now. mean a backup that went in. Let's turn one for sure. I yeah. wish he could blow I'm up about a nigga on the commentator shit, but he's local as fuck. They continue this because we used to say that they wouldn't Shout get the niggas. So it was I, always the white I, I man. Jim. They get the job. Why come he can't be a backup forever? Charlie Batch was on the Steelers sideline. I think you're right with Steelers for yeah. like 10 years. Can one need to go back? You know the worst backup ever? Curtis fucking Painter. Fuck oh, man. He would need to back up a legend to where there is no debate as to who the starter. You just wait for him to retire. Like yeah. like James just did, mm-hmm. even though he almost got cheated too. Mm-hmm. They tried while waiting. They, they tried. They said, they we tried. got this thirty one year old yeah. backup Cam. quarterback gadget Cam. player. Go to Tampa. Go to Tampa, but they can't. They got somebody down there, don't they? I don't know who the fuck Tampa's backup is. I'm thinking about Byron Lynch, the quarterback. Coach, Tampa, the offensive coordinator. Tampa only takes the problematic niggas on the word of Tom Brady. Honestly, Tom Cameron actually cool, yeah. but he's gonna be like pick that nigga up like he did. 
Antonio Brown? No, Tom wouldn't do that because it's his position. It's different. Yeah. 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 Antonio Brown's so, popping okay. out too, game one. Lloyd has been very patient. There is some news about the GOAT. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Cristiano Ronaldo, CR7, back playing for Manchester United after, I want to say, 16 years, man. It's going to look like it. I mean, obviously, he's older, but remember, niggas used to, well, just United, we get it. Like, niggas yeah, used, they used to be, like, goaded to them. For sure. It should and be tight. And he's back. PSG he's, forever, nigga. Shout out to PSG. Messi there, the but, but I guess oh, in uh, Messi's first game, he looked so hot, but. I ain't see the highlights Kenneth, for that. He's not going to score three goals every night. Um, so but, Ronaldo's the goal. It's not Messi. It depends on who you talk it, to. It's it really to. Got you. It's preferential. There's some niggas that don't want to hear either one of their names. Who's so, the other one? Pele. 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 Ronaldinho. Pele is, Pele is like vintage. Hey, right? Maradona. Ronaldinho's my nigga. Ronaldinho. Um, Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho's my nigga. You he ever get his teeth fixed? Nope. For what? Thought he got a bag We might get the teeth. sheer numbers. He never Messi. TV. It's Messi CR7, man. But I feel like, man, look at the EPL. You know, shout out to NBC playing the EPL games. There's a lot of star power back in the English Premier League. <clears throat> and it comes on our TVs in the United States at 10 o'clock. If you can catch them Saturday mornings, 1230, you get two games. You're going to see a lot of Cristiano Ronaldo on American TV sets. Didn't he have a case? Cristiano? It went away. It went away. Yeah, they, he beat up somebody, maybe a woman, a couple years ago. Before, right start. before COVID. That happened. Don't start. We know that happened. No, that happened. No, he's not, I, I, he's I, I, not I, bullshitting. I'm talking to that nigga right That's here. Real. I know what he on. So have some questions. But over there in <laughs> Europe, they make that shit go away. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know let their stars go down. Yeah, I just, I no, you didn't. That's when he had like a, a domestic or something like that. Yeah, for sure. Hey. I'm going to use his hands. It's like going to use his hands in soccer. CTE, man. Head button that ball. Yeah, keep hitting that ball all the time. Fucking brains. More mush. CTE cases in soccer than football. Um, I don't know. Fact check that. More concussions, not CTE cases. You're right. Cause, concussions. Cause, <laughs> man, that's right. crazy. That's probably true, actually. No, it is. I never heard of a soccer player murdering his nah. <laughs> No, me neither. The More dude, concussions in soccer. The doo doo pants is coming. Let me tell you. The <laughs> football player murdered his entire family. Coming. Um, didn't Junior say how? Oh, he killed himself. He didn't take the family out? No. Nah. Oh, I, and uh, Cam, Cam, man. Cam's the man. Yes. Question for you: what? What's up with uh, watching the football team? I thought that was a good destination for him. It's not. They won't. They got. Uh, this niggas can't even figure out a name. Right. It's they got not. Haskins, don't they? No, nah, Haskins is in Pittsburgh. All right, Pittsburgh. He back. They got Ryan Fitzpatrick. Waiting on the nigga to retire. Yeah, wait on the nigga. Get behind the nigga, nigga and wait for him to retire. The way Haskins sit. Yeah. Ben got it. I'm 23. Man. I'm straight. I can go 26. <laughs> hey, he's honestly. young. I'm here to collect. The I'm gonna lock the Honestly, yeah. niggas don't. Niggas don't get that recognition until they thirty plus anyway. He teaches yeah. me, teach me the whole. He teaches me the game, and, bros. And Tom Brady is changing shit because there was a time. There's a time teach in which I get out of a case too. Cam Newton's thirty two. That would that would be it. Mm -hmm. This should be over. Tom Stay in shape. Take care of your body. Stay in shape. You good? Play thirty off. Keep playing. Yeah. Take a year off. And Aaron Rodgers and Drew Brees aren't far behind that for sure. Drew Brees is forty one before retirement. Something like that. Take yeah. a take a year off. Come back at thirty three. Wait for the off season. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll have uh, two hands for, depending on what we record, we have two hands yeah. for a raise your hand next week, maybe. Shout out to the Bears, man. We got the Rams in prime time tonight, tomorrow, I, you, or three I days it. ago. I, I, you know what I'm saying? However think, you want to play. How you want to play, my nigga. Little, you're being a little aggressive right now. <laughs> Poor nigga that just got it. So you need to check with your name. Bear down, nigga. You've been trying to say Bear down. They, they, haven't even, nigga. they haven't even finalized this paperwork yet. So you can feel, nigga. You see the camo, nigga. ain't got a hat stitch yet. I don't think you should be able to. I got a Bears hat upstairs. Fuck you. Okay. got a jersey yet? How long you had it? A week. Okay, you just got it. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Oh, it smell like That's the store. So okay. Cool. Um, fact check. Have you heard? I'm glad heard, it's official, uh, man. The Matrix Four trailer drop. Cannot wait. I want. I would like to hear the story about why Morbius got replaced. But I hope my nigga yeah, Yasuo Abdul that, Matin. Man. So he, he looks so like he's he, gonna kill it. So it looks like he's playing a younger Morpheus. Like he's I don't know. They got, they both got the crater face thing going yeah. on. Yeah, I think it's gonna be. Uh, like I, uh, I think they're going I back watched, in time. Keanu Reeves is back, right? Huh? Everybody back. John Keanu Wick. Wick. John Wick. He's with John Wick. John Wick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, it look, the trailer, I've watched the trailer like five times. It looks Are you going to intently watch the first three before the fourth one? I, have I, plan, to. I plan to do that. I plan to because a lot of people have been telling me that third one's not as bad as you think. In my I mind, the Matrix, third man. one sucked. The first Matrix is a classic to me. The it's first fire. two were crazy. The, first the third one to me fire. was like, eh. But niggas have been watching them recently this year. They said, now nah, watch that third one again. It's not as bad as you You can feel fake deep. Is it? Is the play? I feel like the play is that they about to show us how it all started. It all I feel started like it's a young a Morpheus in that, and I think it's a young Oracle too. Five, I saw I that. Think he's going but I think back. I think he's also in a new simulation. Hey. Continuing from what how the third one ended. Uh, okay. I think I it's know. a new simulation. Yeah, okay, it could be. But uh, anything beyond that, it looks immaculate from the trailer. It it's going to be a lot of shooting, a lot of bullet time shit. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be fire. I'm going to watch the first three to make sure I'm not tripping. Yeah, got to. 
Well, the first one is the first, first one. The first one's good. Christmas. Christmas. Is this is Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, Christmas. Yeah, their fight with Spider Man. Well, their fight with Spider Man. Weird, but you know whatever. Well, they they doing straight streaming, right? It's HBO Max, I thought. Yeah, if this is one of HBO Max's releases. It's one of the theater, too. Is it? Yeah, yeah. But, but niggas ain't going because I get on HBO Max. I'm going to see it. I might I, go IMAX that. That seems IMAX worthy. I want to go see that in theaters. Fair. I'm going to definitely go Spider-Man first, though. Yeah. If I, I don't think he's dropping, the, no he's dropping the same Okay, movie. if I got to choose one, I'm going Spider-Man. I think Spider-Man's early December. Okay. 17th. December 17th. Oh, so, so I, think the, the I think the Matrix is... You can pull, up on, you can pull up on 24th yeah. and go check it out, too, if you really want yeah. to. I want to... I want to... Um, I'm gonna see what it's looking like when I go see Shang Chi. I, yeah. I want to get back into. Really, I've been back. We went to really, Candyman. There were 17 niggas in there. So I went to that would have hit 150 niggas in there yelling and screaming. It would have been way True. better. But obviously, you don't want 150 niggas. I, in not anything. today. <laughs> not today. I don't. Because, <laughs> but, but I'm gonna I'm go to the movies in the 10 a.m. 11 a.m. type they don't nigga do anyway. No more, bro. It's weird because they don't want to pay that. They don't want to lose the money because they know before noon I only want to be there. Six dollars. Yeah. But Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday they, is five dollars. Yeah, the movies are selected these weird. days. Trying to get a Stubbs member is five dollars. Okay, you know, I saw they, I can't even in the full theater though. I'm sorry. They, they're trying to get their nine, they nine fifty. Yeah, uh, honestly, I think Stubbs fucked up, and I'm a Stubbs member for free now. They don't charge me no more, but okay. I'm still a Stubbs member. It's wild. Veteran. When's the last time you been? Uh, I went to the went to go see it. <laughs> He went to go see the Aretha Franklin. Respect. My wife wanted to see it. it was, <laughs> no, I'm trying to cover. That's a fact. I swear to God. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of any more. Hey, have y'all heard, man? Uh, Biden said it's a, it's a vaccine mandate if you got 100 more employees at your job. Damn, what the, you King's, gonna do? Yeah, the sure. King's Man comes out this year, too. What you gonna do? Same day as the Matrix. Gonna heat. What you gonna do? I'm going to try my letter. They haven't said anything yet. Oh. I'm not sure when it goes into effect. Um, yeah, you try your religious shit. exemption letter? Yeah. Let's go uh, get that shit, bro. I'm trying to do something it. else, man. Have y'all heard? I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Nah, that's it, man. Hey, see I'll y'all. back charger. We will see y'all next Sunday, the nineteenth. Bless the oh, hustle. About that. It's gonna be. Um, it started back charging. Club tonight. Cargo Day Party, powered by, presented by the Pregame Podcast. We'll be out there. We got some stickers for y'all and some hats. Sticky icky. Uh, we appreciate y'all, man. Pull up. Stay tuned to our social media sites. More information about those particular events. But come out, man. If you're in the podcast, come to Bless the Hustle. It's gonna be a good time. We'll you see y'all next bless week. The hustle. Next. 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 That's just my aesthetic, that's just my aesthetic. Uh, yeah. That's just my aesthetic, that's just my aesthetic. Uh, yeah. That's just my aesthetic, that's just my aesthetic. When they seen a wave, it's too late for them to go and get it. Whoa, uh, that's just my aesthetic, that's just my aesthetic. Whoa, uh, that's just my aesthetic, that's just my aesthetic. Whoa, uh, that's just my aesthetic, that's just my aesthetic. Told them that I'm fucking up the game and I'm glad I said it. Never want to lose and then be pressed if I could get it bad. Tall frame in a Subaru, I had to sit it bad. Streetly shit, you know I had to go and get the fitted bag. On me shit, I'm dolo on a hit, I never split. Got the leg test, speaking out the shorts. Had to keep the course, jealous how I speak with no remorse. Better peep the score, keep the door closed on the people trying to tweak and take your number one spot. But shit, they peeking at the three or four. Me and more, gotta be this motherfucking cash flow. That's why if we talking money, I'ma be an asshole. Lately, see my circle getting tighter like a lasso. The Cuban link around my neck, I'm feeling like I'm Castro. How you call yourself the go, but move with sheep as Tennessee. Funny acting rappers lacking no comedic energy. See me at a show, I hate the obligated pleasantries. I can see that all your accolades and got discrepancies. Tell me who you rapping, G. Making us look bad, city begging me like it's a butt bag. Y'all are disappointed if I look mad. Never see me acting like a rook. Had about a hundred bodies on my first set. People begging for that new double A. Ooh, double A first wet. What was y'all expecting? Do the shit for enjoyment, not employment. All my words hitting, this your poignant. Wanna talk with me, make appointments. Made a rest decision like some ointment that I wanna spit and I'ma try to. I would say to y'all the competition, but the who I'm really trying to lie to, man. That's just my aesthetic, that's just my aesthetic. Uh, yeah. That's just my aesthetic, that's just my aesthetic. Uh, yeah. That's just my aesthetic, that's just my aesthetic. When they seen a wave, it's too late for them to go and get it. Whoa, uh, that's just my aesthetic, that's just my aesthetic. Whoa, uh, that's just my aesthetic, that's just my aesthetic. Whoa, uh, that's just my aesthetic, that's just my aesthetic. Told them that I'm fucking up the game, and I'm glad I said it. I don't know, I, I feel like I'm at the point in my career where like music is really just me doing it to do it and have fun with it rather than get too business oriented with it and lose the, the fun that is creating music uh, for pleasure rather than creating it to 
I don't know, progress, make money, whatever it may right. be. Like I already have a, I already got money. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> no, I got some other shit. My business is very today. successful. You, you, hey. You'll see Double at the Pacer game randomly. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> business is booming. Hey, business, business <laughs> is booming. But I, yeah. but I'm by no means low level you know. seats. Yeah, right. No. No. Uh, <laughs> well, it's cool. we know. <laughs> no. Yeah, wonder why I'm running up the deficit. I want a bag from it, got another one to preface it. I meant this shit, and now I know this life is just a requisite. Been reckless with the power, making sure that they see less of it. I guess it means I'm moving, they focus. Glad y'all happen to notice, I got this rap like a host. So please sit back while I boast this. Using magnums, no opus to bag the baddest, no bogus to fuck the flag in the POTUS until my brothers get noticed. Change the channel, but I know that you see me. My drip has been a step above. That's like the Sony to Fiji. Just try to reach me, but you can't. They most likely to feed me. Go cop a CD, fucking stream me. Get it busting like Genie, but ain't no late show. Motherfuckers always quick to hate, though. Team up on my back, I bet that bitch will never break, though. Grab the latest dunks, they probably thinking that I skate, bro. But I don't flip my kicks, I stick to grinding in my state. Whole we did it, bitch. I'm probably doubling the speed limit. We shit it on the competition, y'all agree with it. See, how the culture sips when you the one that set the standard nailing all these verses shit is hard could probably bend a hammer they've been the biggest scammers of the rap persona got a whack aroma never seen a stack they probably lack a chromosome or two the zone is who i am when i start black and coma style never been the shit themselves and probably lack a stoma yeah that's just my aesthetic that's just my aesthetic yeah that's just my aesthetic that's just my aesthetic yeah that's just my aesthetic that's just my aesthetic told them that i'm fucking up the game and i'm glad i said it whoa that's just my aesthetic that's just my aesthetic whoa that's just my aesthetic that's just my aesthetic Whoa, that's just my aesthetic, that's just my aesthetic When they seen a wave, it's too late for them to go and get it Yeah, 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 yeah.